Okay. Uh, we live? Okay. Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's do some space exploration. Or rather, for the moment, uh, let's have a look at the latest iteration on Foenestra Dispatch. Nightfire, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so to recap real quick, the point of this system is we're going to have kind of like a depot. Uh, we're sort of doing LTN with spaceships, more or less, a rudimentary version of it. Um, so here we have what is basically the depot. Um, it's going to listen for various outposts having enough stuff available that we should send a ship to come and pick it up. Um, over at our outposts, we have like 256 stacks of stuff potentially. We're outputting a uh, resource type divided by stack size, output signal 0, signal 1, and so on. Uh, that gets sent back to Foenestra Dispatch. And we're not concerned with the rest of this for the moment. Um, back at Phone Astra Dispatch, we are constantly receiving a signal for how many stacks each outpost has available. So right now both Outpost 0 and Outpost 1 have 512 stacks. Um, for various things, we have memory cells as well. And there's a couple of ways we can go about this. Um, but I think I came to the conclusion that for this particular design, or this, rather, uh, for this particular design, you're going to end up with the same combinator count, whichever one you use. So basically we've got, uh, like, 0 and 1 signals are con uh, constantly being transmitted, um, and we're pulsing in things like anomaly, a and B. Um, so those are on their own memory cells with the the memory cells specifically just holding on to that uh, signal type. The other way that you can do it is everything. Uh, we have a memory cell for everything and for the exceptions that we don't want uh, working as a memory cell, we multiply signal 0 by negative 1, output signal 0, uh, onto that same wire, for example. Um, so here we've got, like, signal A, B, anomaly have been pulsed into this thing. Uh, so has a bunch of signal 0 and signal 1. In fact, it's constantly being transmitted on this wire. Uh, and if we turn this off, we can see that this thing is only actually remembering A, B, and uh, the anomaly signal. Um, but here we've got sort of the inverse of that. Uh, we're just, for each separate, we've sort of got the rule is constant signal, and for some things we have a memory cell. Um, but it's going to work out to the same combinator count regardless. Um, because for each outpost, we're going to have to have, um, so the way I'm doing this, it's uh, an arbitrary pair of signals, but basically outpost zero is going to have signal A for the count of how many ships have been sent towards it lately. Uh, so outpost one is going to be signal B for the ship count. Outpost two is going to be signal C for the ship count and so on. Uh, so we've got uh, connected to its own input memory cell, A greater than or equal to zero output A input count. That's going to hold on to that signal that we pulse in. And we've also got A times negative the number of stack sizes that that ship can carry uh, output signal zero. So for the number of ships that we have sent towards outpost zero, we're going to pretend that there's uh, 256 less stacks of this 
in this chest, basically. Talem Grandmaster, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So we need uh, two combinators for each uh, outpost, and also one for this anomaly signal I'm using to count how many ships are parked or queued right here, waiting to get going. I've switched off this dispatch. Uh, we're not sending the launch signals or the destination signals right now. So currently we've got 10 ships, um, all of which are just empty, uh, waiting to park at Foenestra. They've got negative uh, one as the anchor spaceship uh, clamp target. Once I switch these on, they're going to get dispatched. Um, so here we have... Ignore that for a moment. Uh, here we have 512 stacks available at both of these outposts. And just to pick one of those signals out, uh, the first signal that meets this condition, we're going to output just that. That's how the anything output signal works. So if anything is greater than or equal to 256, output anything. So we're outputting zero, uh, signal zero times 512. Uh, that goes to these two. If signal zero greater than zero, output everything. If signal one, output everything. The everything that we're outputting apart from zero itself is a destination and launch signal. That goes to our spaceship uh, over to whoops, uh, over to the console input, and don't worry about that for now, that's, that's basically it, uh, to not overwhelm you with the details at this point. This uh, is just for debugging, that's not actually part of the circuit, and this again was just another way that we could have done the some things are a memory cell and some things are not on this green wire. Um, we'll get back to what that combinator is for later. It's switched off for now. So, uh, I'm actually just going to slow the game back down to normal speed for a sec. And we're going to watch what happens with the green wire here. Uh, once I switch these on, we'll get some spaceships getting launched. Signal A plus 1, signal 0 minus 256, same again. Signal B plus 1, signal 1 minus 256, and again. Uh, and our count for how many ships are queued up here has dropped as well. Um, I have a signal here, or a, a circuit rather. Um, we can detect when a ship has arrived, or when it has taken off, and get a pulse out of that. So how we do that is just detect something or other that tells us that the ship is there, in this case, antimatter stream. And then... Uh, these two are going to receive an input at the same time. One tick later, this thing is going to receive green signal. And two ticks later, it's going to receive red signal. So this is just passing through red signal unconditionally. Uh, so it'll receive... When the ship arrives, it'll receive green and then red, and then both uh, constantly, that is. And when it leaves, there'll be one tick where it's receiving no green, but it is receiving red, uh, and then nothing. So if red is greater than green, it means our ship just left. If green is greater than red, it means our ship just arrived. Uh, and in this case, we're using that to say two things, actually. Um, spaceship times one. Uh, if the destination was this one, uh, output 1a to our memory cells up here. If the destination was this one, output B to... I guess I could have... 
Could I have reduced the combinator count here? If this said 1a and this said 1b... Yeah, I probably don't need these two combinators, but we'll leave it for now. Um, so yeah, that's going to... When the ship leaves, that's going to check what the destination was, and... Uh, am I going to pulse a or b um, to add to the count? Over here, we've just got uh, negative one anomaly. If the ship just left pulse negative one anomaly up to here. And at the end of the circuit, we're going to pulse plus one when a ship is on its way back here. Nope, I am not here. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That was sudden. Um... Wait, why did that just happen? Hold on, where are our ships right now? It should have been too soon. Algia, Zagul, Zagul. Algia, Zagul. There's three headed for Zagul. Did I, did I trip a wire here when I did that? Oh, it's actually, wait, what? Did I break something? Did I just change something while I was... Uh... Technical difficulties? Question mark? It thinks there's two ships headed, headed for Zagul. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um... Did they already get there? Empty? Not moving... Headed to Foenestra. Oh, it's on its way back already. Yeah, no, that's probably it. Okay. But shouldn't the count have... Uh, it's a little hard to check on all of these at once. Okay, well, let's continue with the explanation for now. Um, so once we actually get to one of the outposts, this has the same uh, anchor ID as Foenestra. Um, we arrive, we set the requests on the buffer chest on the ship uh, to whatever resource we're here to pick up. Agamor, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we also detect that the ship has just arrived and we pulse uh, two target uh, target left clamp into the spaceship on the green wire, which goes to this memory cell. So by default, it's off, and our target left clamp is negative one. That's going to be the case when we're coming to Foenestra with nothing in the ship, uh, and it's going to be the case when we're headed to an outpost. Uh, so once we get to the outpost, we pulse in plus two uh, target left clamp to this memory cell. It outputs onto the red wire, so our target uh, left clamp ID goes from negative one to positive one. And when the ship comes back here, it's going to be landing at this spot instead. I went off in vacation and you're antimatter already? Uh, no, we're doing some uh, sandbox stuff. Vlad, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah, so we've got a memory cell on the ship. We pulse that into it. We change what the target clamp ID is going to be. Um, and I had a previous design where this was also sending something back to Foenestra, but that was... An earlier design, I had it subtract the count of how many ships are on the way to the outpost once a ship gets to the outpost. For reasons I'll get into a bit later, we're doing that at the final destination instead, when they get back to Central, uh, Navis Orbit, or something like that. Did you ever run Pyanodons? No, I did not. Uh, so... Uh, 
the only extra circuitry we need to worry about here is using the robot network to indirectly check if the spaceship is full because we can't read contents uh, directly on a buffer chest where we are setting requests. So what we're doing instead is reading the entire robot network minus what is in this passive provider warehouse. Um, and once that is greater than, once the ship is almost full, um, we're going to send the signal to launch and the destination is always Foenestra. So then the ship comes back here. I don't suppose one of the ships are almost here already. Let's see. Foenestra from Nalvis Orbit. Oh, it's already done a circuit. Okay. Foenestra from Nalvis Orbit. Oh no, that's Phonestra 2 Nalvis Orbit. Okay. Uh, did we get to see any... This one, perhaps? No, nope, that's full as well. Yeah, we missed them. Okay. Well, anyway. Um, once the ship gets back here, we've got our uh, isolated little robot network, uh, which is going to do the same thing again, just uh, it's going to count well, not quite the same thing because there's nothing, there's no storage here to subtract we're just going to check what is in the ship by reading the logistic network and we're going to say if core fragment greater than zero, if cryonite core fragment greater than zero if cold core fragment greater than zero output a certain number of anchor to target left clamp. Uh, we're going to pulse that into our spaceship on the memory cell. Uh, and that's going to determine which of these the ship is going to dock at when it gets back to central. Um, and the rest of this circuitry is just a way that we can get a pulse to happen with that. This again was just for debugging. Um, so basically I used a timer here. Because I think we can't count on the robot network instantly. No, no, no. The problem was um, because the spaceship console only reacts like once per second, uh, you need to send it a constant signal to make sure it'll take off. So, what went to... Oh, perfect. Um, I guess it's not going to stay for long, though. <laughs> what we're doing is, once the ship arrives, we start a timer. So this is constantly outputting spaceship 1. When this detects a spaceship, uh, it starts working as a memory cell. Uh, and a timer is just... Um, a memory cell connected to a constant combinator that's giving it an input of one or something. So once that condition is no longer met, it resets back to one. Um, and then we send the timer signal to these two. If it's greater than 60, we output destination and spaceship launch signal uh, to the console input and if it's exactly 60 uh, we pulse through whatever adjustment this is going to be to our um, uh, to the memory cell on the spaceship so all this all this outpost well not outpost uh, all this place here does is checks which resource it has, changes the target clamp ID on the spaceship, and then sends it on its merry way. And then once we get back to Nalvis Orbit, uh, to Ken, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, once we get back to Nalvis Orbit, we've once again got isolated robot networks so that we can tell what's in the ship. Uh, for this test scenario, I'm just using a requester chest and we're voiding all the resources. Um, and then we say, uh, if 
core fragment cryonite equals zero, it's time to take off, go back to Foenestra, and we're also going to, on the green wire here, we're going to send a signal of negative a million uh, anchor to target left clamp. And because the spaceship's uh, memory cell is conditional on uh, anchor to target left clamp being positive, um, that's going to reset it. So the, uh, the target ID, the, the target left clamp number on the red wire here on the spaceship console is going to be back to negative one. Therefore, it's going to come back here and the cycle repeats. Um, now, as for this combinator right here, the reason I changed it from once the ship gets to the outpost, we subtract it from the count, to once the ship gets all the way back to Nalvis orbit and dumps its resources, we subtract it from the count, is because with the former, we could end, well, we probably would eventually end up with whatever resource we're able to saturate, we're going to end up with a whole bunch of ships queuing to drop off, for example, Cryonite at Nalvis orbit. Uh, and then we're going to end up with most or all of our ships out of circulation. Uh, so instead, I could have made it more complicated, but all I did was change where we uh, subtract that count. So as this is... Um, if we've got storage for only two ships worth, we're only ever going to have two ships worth going... We're only ever going to have two spaceships that are either on their way from here to the outpost and or on their way from the outpost back to here and from here back to Nalvis orbit. Um, so there's two ways we could make sure that there's going to be more ships. Uh, that go to each outpost, we could either actually increase um, the storage. If we have, like, storage for, say, 10 spaceships worth um, in this chest, then we're going to get a steady flow of ships. Um, or we could just use this signal right here to pretend that there's always another 512 stacks of stuff available for pickup. Um, so basically this is like setting, it's kind of like setting a minimum of, of two ships, uh, to be in, uh, in the cycle for each outpost. And, uh, yeah, I think that's basically it. Um, although I don't know how that one ship got launched extra earlier maybe i maybe i bumped something when i like did a deconstruction planner or something i'm not sure but um yeah we have a count of how many ships are uh, on their way to each outpost we have a count of how many ships are queued up to be sent from this place including this one and we can easily adjust like, if we don't have this combinator, then the minimum number of ships, uh, or rather, I suppose the maximum number of ships that might be headed for each outpost depends on the storage. So that's already, that can already work somewhat pretty well. If we have lots of storage, it can work very, very well. Um, but if we don't want to build lots of storage, we can pretend... Um, how did that get so negative? Oh, right. No, that makes sense. That does make sense, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're pretending there's an extra 512 stacks available for both of these. It's still crawling back up towards zero. But on this combinator, it's crawling back towards 256, and away goes the next ship. So now we've got three ships on the way to Outpost A, um, and Outpost B is 
up to 190. Once that reaches 256 uh, stacks that are actually here. Or, yeah, 256 stacks that are actually here. Then we'll send another ship. Praise OK. Uh, CZ. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I may come up with another couple of tweaks uh, for this system, but it basically works. Um, and it's not that difficult to update or debug or anything like that, because if I just... If we're okay with all of our ships stopping for a while, um, if I just switch these off, we're not going to send any more ships out. So once they all complete their runs, they're going to be queued up to park here. Um, and then we can reset the count if necessary, uh, make any changes and so on, and then just switch these back on and away go our ships. Very, very cool, in my opinion, even if I did make it. Oh, and I'm pretty sure there's no need for the clamps on the left side. I could probably move this signal to the right. Yeah, because we're not using like an anything signal to check if there's a ship. We look for fuel or water or something that's going to be present on whatever ship designs we're using. Um, or I could include something on the ships that, like, report their stack size or something like that. Well, not stack size, number of stacks that it can carry. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure if I move this set requests constant combinator over to the green wire on this side, there won't be any problems. So we could have uh, we could have a landing spot for the spaceships for each of these areas that will leave room to upgrade to bigger ships as well. It just works. <laughs> uh huh. All right, let's continue with K2SE, our main game. Uh, not the lab. Which one? I should probably make sure... Yeah, yeah, this is our oldest save. Okay. Sync mods? Did I not? Blueprint trees. Yeah, keep everything enabled. Why is it asking me to sync mods? Uh, well, whatever the case, I guess I should probably make sure. All right, so back to our game. Um, we are just at the point where we're really forced to get into space, unless all we want to do is clear the biters for the next hundred hours or something. Okay, a hundred hours is probably a little bit of an exaggeration, but still. Uh, there's not that many more intermediate products I can add to this main bus base, I think. Let's see. We need to get ourselves a cargo rocket. I think we already had everything we need to make this. Processing units. I don't have those at scale because I haven't been mining the raw metals yet. And I haven't been mining the raw metals yet because we need, I think it was chlorine. Where are my drills? I'm carrying 29 of them, actually. Should we make the better drills? Does it matter? Oh, we need rare metals to do that. Yeah, I think I put them all down here. It's fine. We're also very slowly creeping towards having one whole uranium fuel cell to play with, just for our power armor. 
but we'll we'll worry about that when we've got it. Uh, let's get our blueprint for the mines. What? Are, how are these different? Oh, I see. Okay. And I should actually check. We'll probably do it like this. Actually, that's going to make more lanes than we need, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Whereas... If I do it this way... We're still going to get a few extra. I can just put those ones southbound. Something a bit like this. We've got the four in the middle, the ones on the outside could merge into those. Okay. Um, let's see. We do in fact need chlorine. And I think I only have realistically one way to get it at the moment. Uh, lithium chloride. I don't know how to get that. That makes lithium though. Don't know how soon we're going to need lithium. That's just a barrel recipe. And electrolysis plant turns sand and water into chlorine and hydrogen. Name in base. Okie dokie. Uh, where is it? Night fire? Um, probably up here where the snow is white. We need nine of these. Do I not have any stone brick? Here it is. Down we go. Good morning. Yopo77. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did I? I went past it, didn't I? Okay. We also need blue circuits to get our... Oh. Oh. Um, let's try that again. Night fire... And I need this to be wild card? Wait, what? Okay. Oh, it, there we go. Yeah, I think if I put it down as blueprint and then I picked this up, then I had to set that to wildcard. That's how that works. Alright. Oh, we do have some media point defenses now. I forgot about those. Oh. Thanks. No worries. You're welcome. Um, so I'm going to need electrolysis plants and sand and water becomes chlorine and hydrogen. I want to see the other recipe though. Um, it was lithium. Lithium chloride. I expect I'm not going to be making this for the moment. Mineral water and hydrogen chlor... Let's just do this for now. We can worry about what's most efficient when we get it working. Um, so where are we going to put this exactly? I think we're just going to vent the hydrogen. Probably. Uh, dead like you. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, what do we use it for? Hydrogen and nitrogen makes ammonia. Uh, we can turn it back into water. Hydrogen chloride. 
no, we're making this for the chlorine. And nothing. I mean, yeah, we can flare stack, we can vent it. Uh, how do we make nitrogen? Oh, is it just a recipe on the atmospheric condenser? You just suck it out of the air? Maybe I should store a bunch of hydrogen then. Big electric motors are backed up. We've never had a problem with them. Very nice. Um, yeah, we can literally just make hydrogen... Uh, we can get uh, nitrogen even more easily than oxygen, actually. You're really hyped to see the SE run right when it gets good. First trip to space, indeed. Alright, in that case, I think... I think, I think, we will want to store a bunch of the hydrogen. No doubt we'll eventually void it, but, wait, did I just make a blueprint? How about I just copy paste this there we go all right so we can get an idea of where this is going to be uh sand plus water we've got water somewhere nearby already i presume we're not going to need water that quickly Name in base, no worries. Yokum. Where are we? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's bad. Oh, I need to repair that. I need to repair that soon. Okay. Um. How do I. Here we go. No! Yokum. Why can't I do this by... Never mind, we're going over there. And away we go. Seems like we haven't lost a turret just yet. Oh, I already flew past it. It's fine. Probably don't need that much battery, especially when we have another jetpack. Getting low on jetpack fuel as well. And, and we didn't quite lose the turret yet. Cool. I don't have any repair packs, actually. Um, can I put down another turret? That would probably help. And another one. Fantastic. Why don't we make it three, actually? Okay. Do I have any stone? I can make stone walls. Uh, two to be precise. I don't have any actual stone, so I can't make repair packs. Do we have rocks or something? Give me those rocks. Fantastic. All right, let's replace those and repair that. And we should definitely have a bit of a thicker wall to stop the projectiles. All right, that should hold for a while. Um, I should probably come out here and attack them relatively soon. We've actually finished scanning Nalvis. That's good. All right, back to the build. 
hole in the wall on the right. Never mind, there's a cliff. Okay. I need to pick up some processed fuel right away. How's oil? Uh, that's a lot, I think. Yeah, petro even petroleum is looking okay. Nice. Won't have to worry about that for at least 17 seconds. Let's pick up some more drills. Quite a few, actually. Won't have to handcraft any more of those for a minute. Alright, this is fine. Now, I haven't forgotten. Dead like you. Uh... Dead. Oh, I went past it, didn't I? Maybe I should move the, um, the name in base collection. No, uh, this is a pretty good spot, I guess. Dead like you. Fantastic. Okay. MD Strange. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's not me, Joachim. Wait, oh, you redeemed overconfidence. Did I not do Joachim? That's why I had five characters, didn't I? Oh my goodness. Thanks for telling me. I thought it was another redeem for some reason. Probably because I'm... Because I glanced over and saw the overconfidence redeem. All right. Joachim. Uh, Joachim. There we go. Get it right this time. Fantastic. While you are there, okay. Uh, M A D M I K E. Mad Mike, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I miscalculated. It's fine. You saw nothing. Okay. So let's jump back to our planning. Um, I'm going to need sand. We should have sand over here, actually. If I want to... How fast is this going to need to be? Okay, let's go worst case. We've got 109 drills. And that is looking to be 45 chlorine per second. How much does this do? Four per second. It's not going to be consistently that we need 45 per second. I think I'll go for 10 of these. And that's going to require 20 sand per second. And not a whole lot of water. Um, it looks like... If I upgrade this to Red Belt, we would probably get 20 sand per second coming through here. Probably. So I'm thinking... And then we have gases, so, so getting those around are relatively easy. Yeah, I don't think we particularly need to worry too much. Wait, did I say 10 of these? I think I did. Or well, we could speed module them, but I don't think I'll bother. Yeah, 10 should be overkill, probably. Oops. Three, four, five. I don't think I'm going to need editor extensions to help with this build. 
Uh, it was chlorine we're looking for this time, but what's a good layout with the storage here? That's actually consistent. Okay. We can do it like this. I think I like that more. And like this, there's just enough space. Can I... I might need another RoboPort. No, nope, we're good, I think. Let's put these up here. Rando chests. So we're just going to use pipe and underground pipe to get this where it needs to go. Oh, that's eight. Can we do ten? I might need to move the RoboPort. Let's see. RoboPort. Oh, that's perfect, actually. Just have to give it an underground belt. Whoops. Alright, so we have room for exactly 10. Calculated. Pre-planned playthrough. And then of course we're gonna have water from underground pipes or maybe just up through here would be even easier. And some inserters directly here. Uh, each of these only needs two sand per second. A yellow should be fine, except that it's picking up from a red, but once it saturates that doesn't actually matter. And then like this. Um, I think we'll go over here for starters. And then squeeze our water through here. And of course, medium power poles. Oh, that's tragic. Also, this could just be a regular pipe. We're one tile off this reaching across. Okay. I guess we'll double up on the poles. Alright, so then we need a lot of... Uh, huge storage tanks. Basically, we need a lot of steel, also steel beams to make it a bit easier. Is that the st No, that's not the steel belt. This is the steel belt. But thank thankfully, we've got some uh, pre-set-aside storage. I need 20 of these. Why can't I make more? Oh, we're going to run out of steel pipe. Did I set this one up? I probably should have. Probably should have set this one to... Huh? Oh, that's a provider chest, that's why. Probably should have set that one to to hold on to some steel plate as well. I think that's 15. Uh, how many steel beams? I think we need like... 
20. Yeah, we need one stack to make five of these. Almost there. I just want to measure the amount that we need first. How's it still only three? Four. All right, fine, I'll take from the belt. Should be some at the end. I ran out of fuel. I forgot to pick up the fuel again. Um, we have Logibots, right? Did I set this to be... I did not set this to be a passive provider. We'll get there eventually. E, <laughs> indeed. Alright, give me like four, five stacks of that. And there should be some more steel by now. There we go. Alright, and then we need nine more electrolysis plants. For that I need glass. Gimme gimme. And that was much easier. Give me those steel beams just to save some time. Okay. Uh, and then I need... This is the first one of these I've built, actually. A flare stack. That's gonna go here. Flare stack. Uh, and we probably need to give it a recipe. We do not. Okay. So presumably... We just put in... What? Which resource were we... Not chlorine, the other one. Hydrogen? Hydrogen. Uh, let's say we have hydrogen. And it looks like that's just gonna burn it up by itself. So we'll need a pump just so that we can have a decision maker here. Unless we can... Yeah, no, we can't. Um, so that's going to be... This can store 200k. Hydrogen. Uh, if it's greater than... Honestly? Uh, if I let it get that full, then we're going to block the chlor chlorine, because it takes longer and longer for it to really fill up with fluids. So I'm going to set this to, like, 199,900 is probably fine. So basically when this is full, and only when this is full, um, we're going to... Uh, we're going to let the hydrogen get wasted. And do we have pumps? We have pumps. Let's make some more. Okay. And this one. There's our first chlorine. Can the inserter actually keep up? Not even a bit. Okay. Let's upgrade those. Uh, I don't want to upgrade those to steel pipe. Maybe it would have been easier if I just did this, actually. T-Hacks in space? That's the plan. I'm sure we can get there in about six hours. Probably. I mean, one would think. 
All right, so we have our chlorine. We'll be able to mine uh, rare metals. And I think the process for rare metals was literally just a furnace. The only tricky part was... We can enrich them or use vulcanite uh, and presumably get... Oh, and use vulcanite. Um, and presumably get significantly more. Five rare metals, ten raw metals. Raw rare metals. Five rare metals or five enriched rare metals. Enriched rare. Is this something we can or should do yet? We need a chemical plant. And we need... Hydrogen chloride, which we can make. Uh, and then we have to deal with dirty water. Which I'm guessing we can just void. Because it looks like we can void anything with K2SE. Um, let's see. Oh, this is how we make it. What do we do with it? Dirty water becomes iron, stone, and water. Hmm. Wait, what? We can turn... We can choose what we find in it? We can turn it even in, into even more rare metals? I think you can just flare it, yeah. Well... How much have we got here? 2.8 million. I feel like for our starter base, for our first build... We probably don't need to worry about it. And for the next patch, we'll be on rail blocks. And it'll be easier to deal with. Just how much extra rare metals are we talking? No, I want to get it working. I want to get to space today. I could even change it over when we're halfway through this patch. But the starter base is too marginal. Yeah, I'm guessing also we could prod module that stuff, and because there's extra steps, we gain even more stuff. Um, which makes it even more marginal for right now. So I think we're just gonna... Do I not have furnaces? I actually don't have furnaces right now. Give me some furnaces. Oh, sand is saturated. Glass is about to be saturated. That's good. Landfill is saturated. That's really good. Maybe I should make a bigger container for landfill. Uh, if we had a 3x3, three three, I would put that there. I need advanced circuits. Gimme, give gimme. Give uh, two by two. I guess I can't just, like, upgrade this to a bigger chest. I could have three of these chests here instead. That would actually be more storage space. Whatever. It's fine. Um, there we go. Coal mining spits out rare metals for quote-unquote free, indeed. I would expect nothing less. And let's get our ludicrous storage. I mean, I should hope this is ludicrous. If this isn't ludicrous storage, then... Then we need more throughput, not more storage, actually. We need power pole over here as well. Okay. Uh, I have 51 drills. Let's get those set up.
I might just... Oh, that's right. I was trying to make furnaces. I've got steel furnaces on me. Um, let's just put this in here. Give it some fuel. I think we need... Yeah, a multiple of ten to get all of those used up. And that should me uh, should me allow should allow me to make a few electric mining drills. There's a couple of uh, not electric uh, Mark II is what I'm trying to say. Um, there's a couple of spots where it would be convenient. Just with the coverage, probably, like here. Yeah, we do. That one's probably not necessary. And we've run out. Probably didn't need to make uh, six of these, but whatever. Let's do the power poles first. And then I'll just click drag to do the belts. Not here, not here. And this one. Good. No, we need a couple more. And this one. Okay. So I think I want our... Uh, let's go grab some more belts first. You'd get more than enough rare metals if you column the drills. Oh. Text changed. If you tapped a single fissure, though. Fissure? One column of drills is oriented wrong. We'll get to that. Red belt. Gimme, gimme. Fantastic. Should be okay for the other stuff, except for drills. And I want... This one to go south. And that's going to go up there. Ben Wu, thank you for the sub. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Very much appreciated, thank you. Three. That doesn't look right. Auto save. I think it's time already, actually, to make the auto save a bit less frequent. Um, how about never? What's the worst that could happen? You're welcome, thank you. Uh, Xenox, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That is a bit less frequent, yeah. It's fine. Nothing bad will ever happen as a result of that. It's literally impossible. Alright, so this one is going to go down and come up here. That way we have a nice base 2 number of output belts, but also that just kind of works with the number of miners and such. Alright, so what do I need here? 58 drills. Uh, that was more than expected. I'm sure several of them are going to just stop working after a minute. 
Uh, I just want to check if we don't already have... Wow. Okay. Well, for starters, that is 15 drills. I haven't actually filled these out yet. There's another, at least one over there that we're not using. Oh, and the old iron mine is literally completely gone. This is 33. Let's grab those. And let's get some hand crafting going. I need small electric and whatever goes into burners, which includes stone brick, I know that much. And then iron plate. Fantastic. I need gears and I need single cylinder engines. And I need inventory space. Nice. All right, let's continue. Bills go burn. Don't need those two. These don't line up the same anymore, do they? Something happened. And this could probably be a blue one. Then we get a few more. Don't really need that one. This could be a blue one. Just for that little bit of extra reach. And I think we can actually just finish with a couple of blues here. Yeah, that seems fine. Now we just need to connect all the pipes. Which... Would be a little bit easier if I did this, I think. Actually, it was chlorine, wasn't it? Yeah, chlorine. Might be easier if we connect that up top, but this is where I want to do the smelting, I think. Why don't we... Well, what's our max rate from this? 19 per second? I think... It's not going to be too long before we're down to 15 per second, so let's just do one yellow belt. And... like so. So 15 per second. What does this do? 1.25. We need 12. I've actually got 15 on me right now. And it's just fuel and rare metals. Nothing else. Nice. Pretty easy. Uh, let me just make sure I know where this is going to fit. Oh, even copy-paste includes the trees. Okay. So I think I would like just under the sulfur to have the raw rare metals. So that's our output belt. Uh, we don't really have to use all that space, I don't think. I said we needed 12 of these, right? 
Yeah, 12. And we'll need to get fuel from somewhere. Uh, there should be coal all the way up here, actually. Lol, what the fuck, trees? Uh, I added a mod so that we could copy-paste trees. Because we can make trees, and... Uh, I actually made a blueprint. Where is it? Is it in here? Uh, I want to make my rail blocks look a bit nicer in future. Uh, and if we don't include the trees in the blueprint, it's going to add up to a lot of work to manually place them. So this is what I was thinking of going for. Oh. Oh, I didn't include the trees in this yet. Okay. Um, tree? I think because of... I think there's two of each because of the tree x-ray mod. And I think we're supposed to pick the second one. Yeah. Um, so use your imagination just a little bit. We're going to have some nice trees in where all of this stone is. I tried decorating with trees once. They still died really fast to all my pollution. Yeah, I might just have to include some blocks to do... Um, I was hoping I could... Instead of trying to include it in, like, every block, just have some blocks that are doing, uh, air filtration. Looks really nice, though. Thank you. I'd be a wreck without autosaves. Don't think I could go below 30 minutes. Uh, well, you haven't had the save times that I've had, probably. And considering that we're gonna have to have, like, okay... I've scanned all of Nalva, so it's a we're a bit ahead of the curve for where our autosave time is at the moment. But later on, we're not going to be able to have the really small trimmed, like surface trimmed outpost areas like we did last playthrough because core mining seems force us to spread out. So the save file size is going to get really big, and the save time is going to get really big. Um, so probably get used to saving and loading off stream, if anything. I don't think I ever went above 15 minute save intervals. Well... Okay, so we're going to have one yellow belt. I might do it... Actually, let's make this red. And then we can use a half belt. This will be coal and voila. That's our input. What's the rate for these individually? Probably very slow. It is... And output. Come to think of it, because the output's going to be quite slow as well. Uh, why don't we maybe do it like this? Uh, and this will actually go up here, actually. And then... Some storage somewhere. Splitter. Something like that. There's actually a lot of room that we don't need to use here. I could use electric furnaces. Are they the same speed? We've already got them automated. Um, crafting speed 2, crafting speed 2. We're ultimately burning coal for electricity anyway. Only we've got solar panels as well. I, th I think electric furnaces would be better. 
Um, so we won't need to do that half belt for the coal. Um, so we need 12 electric furnaces. We've got all the space in the world as well. Something like this. Except... More like that. And then some storage. Probably make that a little more spacious. Doesn't really matter, I don't think. On second thought, does it matter if, let's see. I'm not going to squeeze blue circuits in there for a proper build. It doesn't really matter where I do this. Uh, let's just make it a little... A little bit more spacious. Regardless. And... Like that. We can probably fit all of that under one substation. Not really. Not unless I change the inserters in the middle. We could go... Input... Output... That should be fine. And that's basically it. Alright, so this goes... About here, I think. Wasn't there a power pole there? Yeah, there is. Oh, it's trying to paste the... It's trying to paste the tree over the tree. I guess. Okay. Oh, I even have exactly, well not exactly, I have more than I need electric furnaces on me as well. Yes. We need one of these. And... This goes here. Oh, we need to set recipe on this. Rare metals. And I think the only step left is to bring over the chlorine. And give it some pipes. Just line up the trains. They consume about one third the power, so I'd say go for it. Uh, do you mean electric furnaces? Or... Put this here. I could do some lane balancing here, but I think it's going to be unnecessary. Um... Oh, I could do some of this down the bottom as well. That might be easier. So we've got this one, this one, this one, and then this goes here. Why don't we just keep this consistent? That goes there, that goes there, 
And last but not least. Alright, um, could I simply extend the robo network, maybe? Let's grab some iron. Oh, I forgot, I don't have RoboPot. Did I really not handcraft it yet, or did I just not use it yet? Uh, we need 45 batteries. It appears I have not. Personal. All time. Whoa, what? You can't tell me all of these are personal. RoboPot? Why is it not narrowing the search down more? Is this the dark side of fuzzy search? Anyway, I'm pretty sure we haven't made a personal RoboPort that I've forgotten about. Where are our batteries? There they are. How many could I support? Probably three quite comfortably. Like, not consistent. Uh, not constantly or anything, but for the burst usage. You can press shift plus M to swap RoboPorts into construction mode. Oh yeah, I saw that with Crestorio. I think if you forget that key combination, you can also just click this here. So normal mode is both logistic and construction. Uh, and if you go for specifically logistic or construction, you get significantly more range on whichever function you've chosen. So if we look at the map here, let's change this to construction mode. Uh, why don't I mark the distance? So this pipe... Should be just reachable. And regular mode only goes to here. And then logistic mode is even shorter than that, but we get a significantly larger, actually not that much larger, of a logistic connection. Very cool. Especially, it, sometimes you might want to avoid connecting the construction, uh, like connecting certain networks. Construction mode also connects through the construction area, so you need far fewer ports. Interesting. Uh, I could probably stand to make a couple more ports while we're at it. What did I need? Small electric. Oh yeah, we need an entire stack of small electric motors to make one RoboPort. So, let's run a little experiment over here. Got ten solar panels, that should be enough. Add some accumulators, substation, and then RoboPort. We're going to connect these at maximum range, or rather we're going to put them slightly outside of being able to reach each other. And then change that to construction. Oh, it already connected. Construction. Alright. If I pick this up, it's going to be trying to put itself down in not construction mode, right? What if I copy-paste it? Maybe? It doesn't remember. Okay, if I put this here, construction mode, if I pick a dollies it down, 
we can get a better idea of the max range. That is a significant increase. That's like 50% further, I think. Nice. Oh, and I guess I didn't actually need the power supply because when you put a RoboPort down, it actually starts with a bit of charge for free. Copy-paste works if bots place the ports. Okay. Um, do we have our pipes here? Oh, I don't have the robots, that's why. This will be a bit easier. And I will need some construction bots. How many can I support? 60. Let's take one stack. Where am I making them? I think over here. Yep. Why do we only have two? Probably should have thought of this before. Okay. We've actually got quite a lot of speed modules as well. And... stack. Down we go. Oh, and the bots are jumping all over the place because of my ghosts that are just there for planning reasons. I wish you could have ghosts that were marked as... not necessarily... We don't actually want the bots to build it just yet. Alright, so now we need chlorine. I'm sure we don't need it so quickly that we have to worry about uh, pipe throughput. And here it comes. I'm loving that the construction bots get a speed buff. That's very helpful. And there's our first mined raw rare metals. Fantastic. There's a mod for making no-fly zones. No-fly zones. Interesting. Um, I guess we'll need a couple more RoboPorts here, much as I am loath to admit it. Here we go. Oh, and here they come. Nice. Uh, I guess at this point I could start running uh, upgrade planners for red belts all over the place without having to worry too much about it. Also, um, it's probably good that we don't have tier 1 assembly machines in the robot network because these are just there to like plan it out. To make sure we leave enough space on the off chance we need to expand these builds. Could definitely mark these for upgrade. Not those ones. No, I think we're already bottlenecked on copper. Oh, hello. Though, that's probably why I had those steel, um, steel furnaces. But why do I have 15? 
Are we one short? I think we're one short. I'm pretty sure we don't have... Well, we do have steel furnaces automated in one place. Because they're a prerequisite for electric. Give me exactly one of those, please. Are you bussing gears? Yes, indeed. Uh, they're right here. Steel gears are a bit further down. There we go. That should help. That's not something usually done. Uh, I usually do it. Um, there's not that as much of a reason to do it with K2, but in vanilla in particular, a lot of things use iron gear wheels, and they're actually... Two iron plate makes one iron gear wheel, so they're twice as dense on the belt. Also, Ragathian, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, that didn't upgrade. Whoops. I guess I could have done it like this. Makes sense to bust everything that has more inputs than outputs in the recipe, I suppose. Um, but also, if you're dealing with a production... Uh, if you're dealing with something like... It could be vanilla, it could be SE, it could be K2. Uh, a whole set of production chains that you're not familiar with. You're far better off bussing too much stuff than not enough. Can we get over this? Not... I was going to say not even close, but it's actually extremely close. Cliff explosives are not in my inventory. Uh, empty barrel explosives grenade. I'm going to be a little bit incorrigibly lazy for the moment. And just go to our old build. To get some cliff explosives. I should probably feed it. Iron and coal. And steel. And what else? Nothing. Okay. Uh, where, what else am I doing? So we finally got the raw... Not just raw, but we've got the rare metals. They're all multicolored. Okay. Uh, and we need those because we need them to make blue circuits. That's actually looking a lot easier to make processing units than... I don't know, that's more advanced circuits, actually. Processing... All caps. Processing units. Advanced circuit, rare metals, acid... Uh, this is a 75% return. Okay, we can also use Holmium Cable to reduce the cost with the rare metals. We can reduce the rare metal cost by 50% and advanced circuits by... Sorry, reduce that by one third, reduce that by 50%, and sulfuric acid by more than 50% by adding Holmium Cable to it. That's not going to be for a while. Um, so where are we going to do our blue circuit build? It's just this plus red circuit, as far as solids are concerned. We've got red sulfur a red circuit and sulfuric acid quite close together up here, but there's no room left. I guess we can do blue circuits way down here? I guess there's no reason not to. Yeah. 
let's make sure we don't mess up with running out of room. Um, I'm sure it'll probably be fine though. So this... wait, no. Yeah, that's sulfuric acid. Wait, what's going on here? Just a, It's just a scratch. Okay. Should probably check on all of my walls. We never actually built this. This is needing a little bit of repairs, but not too bad yet. Um, we're getting a lot of attacks though. That's still on the old ammo. This wall is undamaged since I repaired it, except for this little scratch. This wall is pretty good, except for up here. I mean, that's still pretty good, it's just a few scratches. Our latest wall is almost totally undamaged. The walls themselves have taken some hits in that corner. That's about it, I think. Uh, I think this wall is now just a fallback point. Alright. Military is still doing pretty well. True swarms of them? Creepy, indeed. Alright, we have time to look at this build. Blue circuit, basic recipe. Uh, how many should we aim for? Well, we definitely need to stay within whatever we're capable of with uh, rare metals. So at most, we're consuming 7.5 per second. I doubt we'll go anywhere near that. This is 1.25. Yeah, I think um, red circuits will probably be the bottleneck. Or maybe sulfuric acid. This, this would be 4.5 per second. Uh, red circuit production at maximum, well, multiply this by 1.5. Can I do that? I can. Yeah, uh, we could get 9 per second in theory. Sulfuric acid is probably going to be the problem here. 7.5 per second. What's our sulfuric acid build like? Oh, it's full. Wow. That's good. Uh, this is actually 100 per second. Oh, okay. I guess we can make probably as many blue circuits as we like. Um, why don't we do... Say 16 machines? I feel like that's going to be overkill and actually collapse our material supply. But we can always... I would rather like build it big or at least plan it big. Um, and we can always build it smaller. Leave room to expand it. Alright, so two inputs really slow. We're just going to do half belts, I think. In fact, for the whole thing, it's only a total of 9 per second in. So why don't we do the any input and output again? We're only looking at, yeah, a whole 9 per... S well, okay, the worst... We have to look at the sides of the belt. It's only 6 per second for red. We could literally double it on a yellow belt. Well, no, we couldn't. We could double it on a red belt. Um, and output. Oh, I forgot. This is going to be where... Raw... Oh, well, sorry. Not raw, but rare metals are. Therefore, this will be blue circuits. Um, could probably put it about as close to that as I like, but I'd like to leave a bit more room just to be sure. And pipes, like so. Uh, 
maybe it would look less weird if we do it like this. Let's do another 2 by storage. What the? There it is. Oh, and where does this fit? Wait, no, no. That's raw, That's rare metals. That's sulfuric acid. This is our prize. Okay. Don't think it matters if we have, like, a lane balancer. You know what? Nothing but yellow makes sense for blue circuits, surely. Alright, so... How about... Oh, that's gonna maybe be a little problem. Since we want our inputs coming from here. Or rather... We're gonna have red circuits coming from the top. And combining with this belt. That's going to be exactly in the wrong spot. Uh, so why don't we move this a little bit? I could move it to the right one tile. Or we could make this one the output. We could move this to the right one tile. Like so. Oops. Oops. Alright, can we do... Let's say outputs in the middle. And then... Input, input. 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 Nice. I think that's it. And let's make sure we keep at least a stack. Maybe a bit more. Uh, processing units. Where are they? Let's keep at least a stack handy. You barely use blues before space, yeah. Alright, um, that should leave plenty of room. I'll probably only build like half of it for the moment. We can easily expand it. Oh, I wanted to leave room for a beacon. Nah, I don't think I'm going to worry about it. All right, let's make ourselves some assemblies. We're gonna need these and these. We're gonna need more inventory space. What am I running out of here? Stone brick. Uh, did I just walk past it? I did. That tree looks weird. What the? Because it's actually here, that's why. I guess I can let a few of these handcraft. It's fine. Alright, so... Uh, I guess I can let the bots do that. Should probably extend the robot reach. Can I get another robo pot? Not without another stack of small electrics. And 
concrete and red circuits. Maybe I should automate these. Do I have somewhere that I conveniently have concrete and red circuits by chance? Probably not. Oh, that's right, we were doing an auto-crafter. I completely forgot about this. Uh, why is it not working at this point? We're trying to make... Regular power poles? Medium? We need iron stick and copper cable. And we don't have those in the network. Iron stick. Here it is. Um, um, make it work here. Spaghetti. Why my bot's not? There we go. And small iron electric ball. Um, if I just add that here... It should change the recipe to it. Yeah, there it is. Because with the arbitrary order of signals, we usually find that this prereq comes before this, comes before this. So all we need is the anything signal to separate those out. RF Holloway, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I must admit, in my K2SE game, I got into the habit of putting loader slash provider chest loader in the bus at regular intervals. Interesting. Yeah, I could see that. Um, I guess... Oh, let me get rid of some of these random green wires I've ended up with that I can cheat whenever I want. Uh, just on the off chance, rare metal, make sure we have, I don't know, a thousand. Stacks to a hundred. Just in case I want it for my own purposes. We're going to need a substation. I do mean just one. We're going to need sulfuric acid. Which we can find here. Wait, really? Where is that going? Oh yeah, the mine. Okay. Uh, we just happen to have sulfuric acid right here. Cool. We can probably do that with a regular underground, right? Yeah. And then we just need these belts and things finished. Oh, and to actually plan out the red circuits to come down from here. We're at the point now where it'll be less work to make sure we've got RoboPort coverage there. Did I build this? Yeah, I did. Um, how about this? It's a start. It's more than a start. It actually covers all of it. Alright, so bots are on the way. Fantastic. Bite of Frendo is riding the bus for fun and fun. And I guess I'll just throw this here. I 
guess that's not enough, is it? Hurry up, bots. Oh, here they come. Like a spray. Did you cheat in early requesters? Otherwise, I don't see the point. Oh, you're talking RF. Okay. I, th I would think it's more that if something halfway down the bus um, consumes a whole lot, it doesn't necessarily make the other stuff further down crash as easily. It's not just dictated by the overall rate of consumption. And that's everything. That's all our inputs. Fantastic. We have blue circuits. Does that cover everything for cargo rocket silos? Yes. Yes, it does. Alright, why don't we slap together a single cargo rocket silo. Um, in fact, do I still have like one requester chest lying around somewhere? That would be very useful. I think we had like one of these, a smaller one, and like two one by ones. We've got two requester strong boxes somewhere. Okay. Um, I can't actually request them. No, I, I have, I, I know what, just what to do. Uh, request, that's a storehouse. Request a strong box, and go. Well, there's one of them anyway. Um, so I might just set this to cargo rocket silo, and we're going to set requests and see that we've got everything for radar. And radar, of course, will probably just handcraft. Or... Alternatively, uh, we could just add whatever needs to be in here. Probably everything. Small electric, automation, stone brick, steel. Everything except for steel. Automation core, stone brick. And like so. Kind of wish they had 3x3 three three chests. Those would fit in certain builds very nicely. That's double stack inserter territory? Uh, yeah, probably. Probably. But the question is, can the bots keep up with it? I should probably give them a hand. Let's bring some stone brick. Actually, let's do this. Control click. And steel. And I might just lower all of these because we don't actually need a whole lot. Um, I 
It's not like we need a high throughput of cargo rockets. We already have 150 blue circuits here. Products finished. 14 on the one at the back. Fantastic. Not enough to get any on the belt yet, but that's okay. Alright, once we have our cargo rockets, we will be needing cargo rocket sections. LDS, rocket control unit, heat shielding, all comes off the bus. We need rocket fuel tanks and cargo pods. Uh, that requires a whole bunch of stuff. Three of these things are not on the bus. Yeah, this is getting to be a bit of a nuisance. Um, why don't we take advantage of our last requester chest and see what we can do. So, that's our constraint. Um, we needed cargo rocket sections, which need these two. Probably something like this, maybe. Then again, maybe not. Can I have all of these pointing at this? I don't. Not quite. Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this will be symmetrical. Wait, no. Wait, yes. Okay, that works. So something like that. I think that'll do the job. All of these inputs are physical. Just let them output back into the chest. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea, actually. What was the other thing that we need? I'm sure there's something. Cargo rocket sections, liquid rocket fuel, and... Uh, we need a capsule. We already have a capsule, though. I think I handcrafted it. And... Later on, we'll be able to use this to jet around by itself, but for now, we need more research to make that work. For the moment, I don't want to, like, auto-manufacture capsules. We're just going to make a couple of trips. Ideally, I'd like to not do that in our bus space, but who knows. Um, so I could do four whole machines facing, uh, facing the requester chest if I want them To be able to put stuff back into it. What about if we put our cargo rocket silo next to it? I mean, considering there's only... what the? Invalid launch pad location? Oh, I guess it's because of this... yeah, I would have to go into another save to play with this. That's fine. Um, where are we going to get liquid rocket fuel from? We require a fuel refinery or a fuel refinery. Okay. And we just take in solid rocket fuel. We've got solid rocket fuel already. Here it is. Um, let's maybe extend... Our bus over here. And... Hmm. Alright, 
Can I at least plan... How big is it? I think it's like 11 by 11. Oh, it's exactly as much as this. Nice. And that is 10. I think that tells us how big it is, unless it's a rectangle. No, I think that's right. Okay. Um, is this rocket fuel? Yes, it is. So we need a fuel refinery. I'm surprised there's... Is this actually buildable? Stack size 10, crafting speed 1. It's the same crafting speed. And same power consumption. I'm guessing we don't actually build those. Uh, anyway, we might have... Maybe I should have a big storage as well. Maybe not. Let's say we have our fuel refinery like this. And we need the cargo rocket sections. That's the only thing, isn't it? Apart from capsules. Why don't we do it like this? So cargo, ro cargo rocket sections and capsules, like so. Um, and we'll do input, output, like this. Uh, cargo pod. And... What was this one? Rocket fuel tank. I'll have to manufacture... No, we've got pipe in the network already. Storage tank and pump. I might have to do something about... Iron chest, fast in, iron chest will be a little slight nuisance as well. Um, but we'll do capsule, and I might, I might have to think about how this goes actually. But we'll have that there as as a possibility. Cargo rocket section. Should probably have some storage for those, actually. Should probably have separate storages for those, actually. See Moogle, Evil Plum. Good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Make bigger chest. Do you mean the blue one? We can't make blue ones yet. I could, of course, use the blue one to supply a bigger one, but I don't want to go that far. Alright, so tentatively... Actually, I could put this here. And this could, of course, go on another corner somewhere. I think I like that well enough. And iron plate. Can I take more advantage of this? Not if I'm going to do it this way. Okay, I could maybe move this here. And 
That one could still work like that. Which one needs iron? Uh, storage tanks are still steel and iron, right? Or storage tanks. I can't see what the recipe is. Storage tank. Still iron... Oh, iron beam and iron plate. Hmm. Maybe I should use a requester to put things into a big chest. We could make it look a lot cleaner that way. Alright, let's get... What's the biggest chest we can make right now? Six by six. Huge. Uh, so we're going to have cargo... Rocket section. We're going to have... Of course... The two prereqs for that. We're going to have iron chest. Even though it only goes in here, maybe I should direct insert it. Like so. Uh, what are other prerequisites do we have here? All of those we can request. Uh, pipe we can request. It's basically just storage tank and pump. Storage tank. Pump. I'll put them over this side. Doesn't quite work like that. Why don't we make it a bit more symmetrical because we can't? Whatever. Well, no, 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 no. Alright, back to those. And I think that's pretty much it. I guess we'll shove some of these into a chest as well. Uh, what else was there? Do we want to maybe think about... Oh yeah, where's the blue chest going to be? Like here? We're going to need to read what's in the chest. And we're going to need to... Not blacklist whatever's already in there to some extent. But we're going to have to have a whitelist instead. Let's see. Um, stack filter inserter. We can actually have four filters on this. How about... Anything less than some amount. Is that going to be... Or everything less than some amount. Is that going to be okay? How many how many things are we going to be requesting? Uh, one, two, one, two, three, four. Do we already do iron? Yeah, five, six, seven. I think eight. Did I do pipe? Yeah. Uh, nine. 
9, 10, 11, something like 11 things. Everything less than 50. Oh, and then we would need, because there's a null signal for each of those to start with, we'd have to have, like, pretend there's one, or even just negative one. Uh, for each thing that this request a chest is going to have to put in there. Set filters. Whitelist. Am I going to pass everything that is not already at 50? Won't that whitelist everything we put in it, like storage tank? Pump, etc. I could just put a large negative number on the constant combinator for anything we don't want as a signal here. Just negate the chest content so the inserter equalizes the storage. I think we're going to end up with a bunch of extra signals though, right? Oh, and I didn't do... I might move these because I didn't do, um, I want to at least have the option to do a capsule in this. We're already requesting a bunch of that stuff. Do I want to direct insert the capsule to the rocket? Probably. If we don't store them somewhere... Oh, that's a perfect fit. That works. Yeah, we could do this. Just each times negative one green wire to insert a, and red wire to the blue chest to insert a, if you're worried about contamination. There's a couple of ways we can do it. Robo jumper, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think this will probably do. Let's see. Uh, that goes there. Cargo rocket silo. We'll go here. Did we build one yet? I, no, not even close. Oh wait, this was... Yes, we did. I guess I don't mind if we build one or two more. I'm sure we'll eventually use another cargo rocket silo. I need another big storage tank, steel, and steel beams. Input inside of a pumps is wrong direction. We'll get there. Give me those steel beams and steel. really quite liking that sushi. Oh, and our science. I would be surprised if our science wasn't all backed up at this point, I suppose. Uh, but even the yellow science, although I guess... No, I did have a storage for the yellow science. That's a casual 9.6k, aside from what's on the belts and in the machines. So we're closer to 10,000. I need a fuel refinery. 
I was curious about this. We can make these big refineries at some point, question mark. Or is it like removed? I guess it is. Never mind. Refinery. We can handcraft immediately. We need a big storage. Uh, for that, I need concrete. Do I have concrete here somewhere? Not even close. Where's that concrete? Uh, one warehouse, please. It's one refinery you can find, but it's just bad, so probably left by accident. Okay. We need some assemblers. Oh, that's a lot of handcrafting. Stop it. Um, I was thinking of bringing some of these things in from the bus as well. That's going to look atrocious. That's still not powered. About here. Um, where am I going to get the handcraft stuff? Small electric, automation core. Give me a stack of those. I should really get the bots to bring me these things. Just one stack of each of the intermediate products would be very helpful. Why don't we do that? Let's see. Iron plate. How about we start with plate? Iron. Copper. Steel. Uh, don't worry about those. Gear. Gear. Beam. Beam. Electronic circuit. Advanced circuit. Processing unit. Stone brick. Um, pipes, definitely. Both types. Pumps. Inserters. Uh, let's not get too crazy just yet, actually. One thing at a time. Am I standing in the right place? Yes. Yeah, there we go. Captain True, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right. Stone brick, give me that. Oh, my inventory's full. I can't actually get the bots to take stuff like stone back to where it belongs yet. So we're slowly going to run out of storage space using trash slots. Just something to bear in mind. Alright, um, I guess we're adding one thing at a time to this. I could start with whatever has the most requests. 
it's not in the robot network yet. We need red circuits. Oh, and like 33 of these. There we go. Let's extend this. And then... What was I doing? Oh yeah, we're setting requests for these. And let's get a RoboPort over here so that we can actually see what we've already got available. Uh, obviously not the cargo pods and such. LDS heat shield I think I'll take from here. Might be easier. We've only got so much room to deal with belts though. Do the bots not... Oh, I haven't upgraded these, that's why. Um, storehouse, you say. Steel, steel beam, and concrete. Why is my inventory this full? Let's get rid of this biomatter. For a second there, I thought I'd made two cargo rocket silos up there already. But that's the regular satellites. This is incredible how... I guess we haven't been doing military research. I'm surprised this never ran out, and yet it's nowhere near approaching full. You'd think it'd be one or the other. Um, I might put a bunch of this stuff in storage for the moment. Still quite a lot of space. I should pick up some more fuel. No, we're good. Don't really need wind turbines right now. Uh, one stack of the intermediate products should be fine. Did I request concrete? No. Concrete. Why is there a deconstruction planner in here? Uh, probably to, don't need this many med packs these days. Oh, we've got med pack four. Don't actually remember making those. Did we find them in a stash? Uh, what else? I'll carry the fuel processors. I don't really need this one crafting combinator or electric boiler. Oh, CME. How's the CME doing? We have only five hours, actually. And there's actually a second one heading for Nalvis only ten minutes later? Wait, seriously? Um, well, I'm glad we've got ludicrous energy storage here. Uh, how much steam do we have? Zero? Why do we have no steam? Uh, do we have power problems? We have power problems. Okay. Let's expand our solar. For starters. And where did I put the accumulators? Somewhere super convenient belt-wise. Here it is. Alright, I think I have a blueprint for this, or maybe I got rid of it. Did I actually save the blueprint somewhere? No. That's not what we're looking for. We can make it again quite easily. I think that's it. Blueprint, snap to grid, relative. Shift click this along and change this to 20 by 20. And I think we're done. 
I'll shove that in... Can I do this? No, I can't. Should, should have done that in navsat mode. But I just kept that blueprint there. I guess I could always move it there via the blueprint box and stuff. So we've got five hours to CME and no stored power, actually. I also don't have the steam engines, uh, the steam turbines to finish the build. We have about 200 or so to go. Um, I'll probably take advantage of one of our precious requester chests, uh, like this one. Steam turbine. And what are we missing here? Not pipe, not small electric, uh, probably gears. Steam engines themselves. Can I do this? I can. Steam engine. Fantastic. Iron plate. Nice. And copper plate. Should be able to get that automated. Uh, these only stack to 5, I think. Or is it 10? Stack size 10. Stack size 10 consumes steam to create electric energy. That's kind of weird. Um, and I think we're missing some of these from what our blueprint is supposed to be. Let's count exactly how many we actually need. That is it. We're missing uh, 214. So 22 stacks. Um, and we need to. We need a bunch of large storage tanks. Steel pipe, steel beam. That's a little bit of a pain, but I think I could actually hijack this requester chest as well. Storage tank. And I need to make steel pipe first. We can do that. Steel pipe. Alright, so we're very definitely going to need steel plate. We already did. Steel beam. And power. Provider. Well, I think I handcraft these. Actually. And how many do I need? Let's see. 134, three stacks. Steel beam and steel plate are on their way. Fantastic. I don't particularly care how quickly that gets done, it should be fine. Let's pick up more accumulators, there's a bunch I haven't built already. And away we go. I'd leave the chest uncapped. They'll come in handy when it's time to go to a new planet. Uh, maybe. But for now we've got specific things we need to make. We can always uncap it later. Besides which, 150 large storage tanks is quite a lot. Uh, Dodara, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. 
Always going to have ample power since you're spending steam during the night. Yeah, I don't want to be spending the steam. Um, I mean, if we've got a power surplus, we won't be spending the steam. The steam is for the CME, first and foremost. Uh, if it gives us, like, basically a big accumulator as well, that's a bonus. But ideally, we don't need to tap into it. Besides which, we've already got all of these accumulators built. Oh, the bots are upset with me. I can pick them up very, very quickly. Let me guess. Robo ports are all out of power. Okay, let's turn them off. I'll do this manually. And... Go. Probably put in the substations first, and then, of course, we got some uranium. Yeah, putting it in trash slots doesn't help, but weirdly enough, just putting it in a chest like this does. If we stop moving, jetpack, cardinal direction, nice straight line. The more important thing is to get the solar panels, though. Am I already carrying them? Uh, a little bit, yes. How much power have we saved up here? Almost none. It'll be easy to let the bots do the solar panels, is the thing. And I can do the accumulators much faster than the bots. Oh, this still counts as not enough power to do anything. And they're all charging at the same time. So we've bottlenecked on 192 kilowatts here. I could use... Oh, maybe I should use the... Uh... Whoops. I should definitely use the energy absorber. Do we still have that building over here? Yeah, yeah we do. Oh, that's better. That is very fast. Could be faster. I could make another one. I don't know, we're more than two-thirds charged already. Okay. Are we charged? No, we're still charging our batteries. What's the max discharge rate from these? One megawatt each. Doesn't really matter. Alright. While we wait for that, let's see. We've got storage tanks, we've got steam turbines at a surprisingly decent rate overall. I can go and drop off more copper, that's the main thing that the bots have to carry. Let's do a little... oh, I've got copper on me and it's right here. Let's do that. And go and fix what we didn't finish last time. Oh, 
Oh, I haven't got any solar panels. Solar panels are here. Quite a lot of them, actually. Where is this uranium that's hurting me? Or did I imagine it just now? There's some raw rare metals under here, actually. Just a little bit. Okay. What time of day is it? It's dusk. But we should have gained some steam. Well, we've gained a little bit of steam. It's a start. We've still got, like, most of five hours. Uh, four hours and forty minutes. If I keep expanding these solar panels... Uh, in fact... If I just... I think if I hold this in my hand, it doesn't hurt. Yeah. I'm just gonna go drop this off where it belongs. Hot potato, hot potato. Name in base, no worries. Daniel, give me just a second. Didn't miss anyone else, did I? No, I think we're good. Master Gentle, oh, well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, do I have stone brick? I do. B E. I mean, wait, what? D A N I E L. Do we want the numbers or just Daniel? And I went past it. I've been doing that a lot lately. These are all empty. Feels good to be able to deconstruct that easily. I'm really glad the construction bots get such a big movement speed buff with K2. Oh, what is this? I think we just wasted all their energy. Get in my belly. Okay. Uh, Daniel. Just Daniel? Okay. Here we go. Fantastic. I still have that spare E left over. <laughs> Never mind. Own galaxy. Good to see you again. Oh, well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Don't want to mess up these power poles. I probably shouldn't be getting distracted by cleanup duties right now. Actually. Let's ignore that for the moment. Our priority is the steam battery. I think we're going to get the um, storage tanks done way before everything else. We've got plenty of substations. Weird how some of these disappeared. I don't know how that happened. And our steam is dropping to zero? How did we get it to not be zero a second ago? What? We've got like... Oh, that's taking the steam battery into account. I think I need to change the logic on this. So power is on. When this accumulator is full, I want this connected. We should be gaining steam. Why do I see it dropping whenever I check? The steam is supplying the accumulator. How did the accumulator get full in the first place? And then when it drop when accumulator charge drops to 80%, we want to turn this off. And then don't turn it on again until the accumulator charge is full. Maybe I should measure based on the steam instead of accumulated. No. 
maybe a bit of both. Perhaps. Oh, it's stopping, it's gaining, it's dropping. Why is it fluctuating all the time? We do seem to be slowly gaining it. It's weird that I keep checking on it and finding it almost empty and on the way back down. Um, we might need some more boilers as well. I've got one sitting around somewhere. Alright, you're needing more copper, of course. Let's go grab it. Save the bots a lot of trips. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah. Our copper belts are actually full. I think we're bottlenecking on the yellow belts. Let's upgrade those. That's stone. And the yellow inserters at this point, I think. I think I had to do this for iron, so I should have known better, but maybe I got distracted. Or maybe we just didn't reach the point of needing that much copper yet. No, apparently I hadn't done this for iron. Maybe it was in simulation. Alright, so copper should be... Oh wow, that, that was quick. Or was it? We're bottlenecking on the actual copper now. I think. Oh yeah, it's... I forgot we had to... So we've got these two copper mines. And I think... That's iron. So th this is our whole copper supply at the moment. That's not great. Gonna have to go outside the walls. We got 3.1 million right there, we just have to move the wall up a bit. But while I'm at it, I may as well take more territory. If I'm really greedy, we could take it to here. Oh, or to here. I'd have to kill a lot of biters, but we would have some much smaller bottlenecks to defend and gain a lot of territory. How much copper do we have still? 1.7 mil... more like 2? That's not too bad. Anyway, let's get a whole bunch of copper over to our steam turbine build. And we also need a small electric. That should probably help. Um, I'm pretty sure if we fill these steam tanks, it should be more than enough for the CME. I could be wrong, though. I'd rather overdo it. Jetpack speed is really... dropped. Alright, let's get this bit. Why don't I grab the steam engines that we've got so far? I guess it's not a tragedy if we overproduce them.
We'll just have some more for later. Although I will have to remember that we have them. I don't want to be married to this base forever. Uh, probably would have been better if we got at least one of these steam engines up here. So that we can get more storage. Why are there big power poles in here? Oh, there's supposed to be. Never mind. Because the substations are just... just far enough apart that they don't connect directly. Alright, why don't we fix this... coal belt? So that we can extend this all the way across. And I'm pretty sure I have one electric boiler lying around. I need copper. At least 500. Let's do a shift C here. I forgot I could do that. Get that stone out of my inventory. Fantastic. And then... What was I doing? Oh yeah. Electric boilers. Alright, how's our steam? It's still hovering at approximately zero. As far as we're concerned. I should probably focus more on spamming solar panels at this moment. Let's get some power. Mr. Monty Punty, good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Time to go killing rampant biters? Yeah, soon. I think... As, as soon as I can stop panicking about preparing for the CME, um, which would be what's less important than adding more storage at this point is getting the energy surplus up to a respectable level. So we're going to keep spamming solar panels up here. And I should really focus on the panels before the accumulators at this point. I guess I could use cliff explosives on this, but no. I'm not going to bother with that. Oh. Uh, apparently I am going to bother with that. Okay. My mistake. Is this covered by media defenses? Somewhat. Do I still have my media defenses? I do not. They should be in this storage chest, since it's pretty much our only one. And media defense installation ammo. I don't remember where I am making it. This is it. And there's another one of our precious requester chests. That's not ammo. That oh, here's ammo. There we go. Let's grab a couple of stacks. I want to drop a couple of these. Probably up here. And no need for a chest, we'll just put a whole stack in there. And then over this way, let's repair this. Why is this bot not coming back? 
Oh, my inventory. And expand. We want another right about here. And probably another one. Do I have cliff explosives? I do. Should probably maybe be enough. One off. One off. Batteries are about to run out, no doubt. Oh yeah. Right about now, actually. Maybe I should carry that recharge thing with me. It only takes a second to charge up itself, right? Look at how quickly my bots are following. I guess they're not tired yet. Let's see. Yeah, this isn't their run out of energy speed. That would be surprising. Are any of them going to run out? I kind of want to see how slow they'll go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that is still pretty slow. It's a pretty big buff on the usual... I've run out of energy speed. But... still quite slow. Ludgy bots have something to say. Taking away my copper. Alright. I think I will make another energy absorber. Oh, I can do it right now. You know what? For the moment, I think I should just go for three of these. There's already an... Are you serious? I can only use one? No! I just made two. What are they going to do for the rest of the game? Please tell me they go into something else. Energy Absorber. They do not. The only recipe that includes Energy Absorber as an input is nothing from the Crusher. Don't forget to reconnect your coal belt. Oh yeah. That might be a good idea. That is probably a good idea. Save some belt here. Do I need to pick up more substations? Not for a while. Alright, how many... Uh, how many steam turbines do we have? 25 is quite good. And another 30 large storage tanks. Uh, we only need 35 to finish the build. Once we get 35 here, I'll do that, and I'll be a bit more selective about where to put... How can I... Yeah, not like that. Like that. Uh, yeah, I'll be a bit more selective about putting down the steam turbines so that we get connectivity with all the pipes ahead of time. Let's grab our... Now let's do a shift C first. Why do I have... Oh, right. The asteroids. 
153 rare metals. Get out of here. How's our blue circuits? Oh, that's fantastic. That is so far ahead of our needs. Probably red circuits are crying a little. Not even. Wow. Uh, anyway, solar panels. Let's stay focused. Until we can get... That's actually the last of our solar panels for now. Until we can check off the CME. Until we start accumulating steam at a respectable rate is the main thing. Did we get some... Nope, we're good. Some uranium is what I was going to say. I need a proper build for cliff explosives. Uh, let's see. Explosives is... Rip. It's very confusing the way they split these up. Explosives. There it is. Coal, sulfur, water. Sulfur needs water, so it's kind of like just saying coal, sulfur. If they're next to each other. Coal up here. And then... Explosives goes into here. Empty barrel needs steel, grenade needs coal as well, and also iron. This is a big nuisance to do with belts, that's why I'm still handcrafting things. If I bring coal, iron, and steel somewhere that is already water and sulfur, Ugh. Let's just shift C this stuff. I could go drop off this coal to make more cliff explosives. That might be a good idea, actually. We need cliff explosives so rarely on this map. It's actually not that bad. And I'll drop off my iron here as well. What are my bots doing? Repairing something. Okay. Let's go to the start of our bus. Spam shift C. Uh, I think we built all of the solar panels here. We're going to have to plan out some more. Can I fit this here? I actually can. How's our steam looking? It's accumulating at a much faster rate based on earlier calculations. Um, that's probably accumulating much faster than we need to beat the CME. Fantastic. Uh, although the real test is getting through nighttime, I suppose. Oh, we just got through nighttime. Nice. Alright, I think we got there. We didn't even run out of solar panels yet. Lolilo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is there a deconstruct machine? I know there's one in the Angel Bob's mods. You mean something that gives you stuff back? No, but in K2, I'm pretty sure you can void anything uh, by throwing it into a crusher. So there's that. Uh, oh my goodness, Lalilo, thank you very much for the gifted subs. Much appreciated. Another 10 for 45? Thank you so much. 
Meloxil, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hope you enjoy the sub. What is that friendly biter? It's it's a biter friendo. And it's I'm gonna say that it's playing, not that it's confused. It it's it's just having a good time right now, that's all. Biter friend. Sleeping friend. Uh, no, we don't want to crush it. Can I actually not make it? I thought... So, I guess you start with that as... That's a one-off, and we can make it later on. Unit capsule, big biter. Is that equivalent? Speed 59.6, range 2... It looks like it. 22. Shit. Damage 30 physical. Sleeping friend is stronger. Scashman. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Kevin, good to see you again also. Indeed. Very kind and generous. Thank you so much again, Lolilo. Um, alright, we should have enough. We should have enough uh, storage tanks by now. And I'm going to turn off my bots. We're going to grab the rest of the steam turbines that we've made so far. Where are they? That's actually quite a few. And I want to make sure we get a line of these. So we have way more than enough storage space. I, mean, I think we already do, but I want to be sure. For the steam to get through the CME. Uh, well before we get the rest of our steam turbines, that is. That's probably enough for now. Did we not get close enough to this? What's our range? Not that much. Okay. So 500... 500? Oh yeah, that's the best we can do at the moment. 500 degree steam. 500 degree steam, uh, 50k times 161, plus everything else that can hold a bit of steam. Uh, we, we can hold over 800, uh, over 8 million steam. Uh, and we get 500 joules per degree, so 500 times 500. Uh, 25... 250... kilojoules, is it? 250 kilojoules per steam times 8 million? Is this many joules? I wish I could get some commas for the zeros. Um, Two hundred megajoules, is it? No, I th I'm pretty sure we calculated that like this was way more than enough to get through a CME a while ago. 182 gigajoules over 120 seconds. Uh, the fact that it's over a relatively short time means we need a lot of steam turbines to keep up with it. But I'm pretty sure the storage is overkill. Uh, 
Not all tanks are connected. Uh, this is true. Oh, there's one missing here. I don't know how those got removed from the blueprint. And yeah, we need more steam turbines to get the maximum storage capacity. But the storage capacity that they can reach already should be way beyond enough, probably. I certainly hope so. Probably more than we can fill in four and a half hours, to be honest. Oh, it's now four hours, eleven minutes. Yikes. All right. Uh, speaking of time, it's been a little over three hours already, so let's do some words on stream. Uh, let me make sure that's working. Should be good. Really only needs 1.5 rows to be safe if the flare hits at night, which admittedly would be odd. We've also got, um two CMEs, one after the other, which I've never seen before, I think. They're both 2.28 gigawatts, 182 gigajoules over 120 seconds, and this one's literally 14 minutes after the last one. Do we actually have an umbrella yet? That's kind of important. I don't think I've built it, but we can literally build that almost at the last minute. Uh, let's do our break first. Why it would be odd? You'd have the entire planet acting as a shield, yeah. Um, because it comes from the sun. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes. We'll start words on stream in about thirty seconds. Good luck and have fun.
Oh, did I forget to pause the game? It's probably fine. Absolutely smashing it. All right, let's continue with some Factorio. Let me just pause this first. Fantastic again. Up next, level seven. All right, we'll do that in maybe a couple of hours. Try to remember. Uh, so, let's just confirm. Our accumulators are completely charged. Our steam is charging up pretty rapidly, honestly. Um, we might... Oh, I should definitely get these steam turbines built, in particular. Since they're blocking the production of steam, or the lack thereof. The lack of them is blocking the production of steam. Need a substation here. And where else should we be? Subbing some stations. Uh, how about this one? Triple Exposer. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And it looks like this is connected. How about this? Bonk. That is very nearly everything, as far as connecting the storage tanks goes. So we're just waiting on 154 steam turbines and nothing else. It did occur to me on the break that I could have used the auto crafter to get a lot of this stuff. Um, but... I was going to say, but it probably hasn't caught up. It's actually made um, everything I've asked it to already, it seems like. Yeah. Maybe I should be adding more things to this auto crafter. Like, for example, assembly machine one. Or rather, burner assembly, assembly machine one, assembly machine two. And then we set requests. In comes the stuff. Very, very slowly. Where, where are the stone bricks? There, there's some. Poor little bots. Alright, there's our first one. And so far I've got it set to change recipes as soon as we've got just one. But I had it so that it would only change recipes like once every couple of minutes or something. With the settings for Crafting Combinator. Yeah, it looks like it hasn't recognized it yet. That'll take its sweet time, but we will get some assembly machines. Did we just get our first tier one? Nope, never mind. Um, so now that we're done running around with our hair on fire, what's our next... What's our next priority? We got blue circuits, we were working towards launching a rocket, we've already got the liquid rocket fuel, and then some. And by and then some, we've almost got enough to launch it three times. 
Uh, destination position, we can't target it. We definitely want a manual launch. Can't change any of this really, or don't need to. Um, we've got our capsule somewhere. I think it's in my inventory. Yeah, there it is. We need to get cargo rocket sections. If we haven't set this up already. Oh yeah, I need the wiring for this. So, capsule equals zero. Uh, what the? Cargo rocket sections less than 100. Stack size one. I think they can only be stack size one, actually. Matrim, good to see you again. Oh, well, and welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh yeah, I need to add a bunch of requests to this. Um, set filters whitelist. Alright, so everything I put on here, I need a negative over here. Or a positive. How about... I could do it this way, actually. We're never going to read from this buffer chest. So, I'm going to bring this wire over here. We're going to set requests. And I'm just going to put things... 50 of everything. Uh, let's say less than or equal to 50. And I'll set 50 of everything that I want brought over here. So, LDS... Heat shield? Where is it? Why is heat shield not next to LDS? How dare you? Uh, rocket control unit. And I remember now that I still haven't upgraded some of these chests back here to passive providers. Uh, red circuits. Fast inserters. Steel plate. Iron plate. Iron plate. Steel plate. Pipe, storage tank. Uh, we're doing those here, actually. If I were lazy, I could use the autocrafter to make those, but I don't want to be waiting on that while the autocrafter does something else. Uh, iron beam, pipe, small electric. Iron beam. Iron pipe, small electric motor, uh, solar panel accumulator, shouldn't you have this whitelisted? Oh, it's already working. Wait, no, it's not working. Everything less than or equal to 50. Output everything input count. As set filters whitelist on this. Oh, if all signals meet the condition. Okay. I could do anything, output anything. Or each. We want each. There we go. And we got steel. This is already working. 
Oh wait, I changed it from manually set. Aziz light. Aziz light. We have lights on the power po on the substations. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, steel and steel beam. We've already got that here. I think that's everything. And we could take from the bus to make it a bit easier on the bots. It looks like we're only putting a tiny bit of each resource in here. Also, we do still have the problem of... Hold on. Do solar panels and accumulators not have a passive? There we go. Pick up 246. Oh, they're building as well. Doxilos. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Passive provider. Upgrade these ones. Battery. Heat shield. LDS, rocket control unit, liquid rocket fuel. I was going to say upgrade plan, but... Well, yeah, I can do it this way. I need one more of these. Bots are probably bringing me the steel... Or they will eventually. Or I could just pick it up. That might be easier. Not that anything's requesting rocket fuel just yet. May as well get ahead of it. Uh, glass. And we've already got... I could just take solid rocket fuel directly from this belt. Uh, glass. 50. Solid. 50. And I could set some of those smaller if I want the bots to go faster. If I want more stuff to be in here. But uh, this will get the job done, I think. Cargo rocket section zero. What are we waiting on? Storage tank pump. And all of this, actually. Oh, it would probably help if this had an input. Did we make any of these iron chests? Yes. Um, iron chest. Uh, Lalilo, thank you again for the ten more gifted subs. For very, very much appreciated. That's 55, wow. Thank you so much. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed, to be honest. Hope you all enjoy them. Thank you very much again. Uh, what was this called? Brain thinky not so good now. Uh, cargo pod? Less than 10. And this thing... Rocket fuel tank, less than 10. Yay indeed. <laughs> Have we finished any of these? No. We're waiting on steel plate. We're waiting on specific things to arrive here before the filter insert is going to put them in. I definitely could have done this better, but it will work. Uh, really, we're just waiting on the bots. Hey, okay, gotta put the kid to sleep, BRB. Alright, take care. Let me go grab some glass. I, I just want to see this process 
uh, sped up a bit so we can confirm it's working okay. That's a lot of gloves. Oh, this took damage. Is it not protected? It is protected. It still got hit. That's unfortunate. Shot, zero shots fired. Okay, everything I see scrolling up says zero shots fired. But... This one should have had line of sight. Maybe this was damaged a while ago. I don't think so. I think I was here before. Alright, some glass. And I think I'll set this to 100. We'll put 50 of everything in here. That's going to be a bit more effective. You could just start crafting the planetary defenses now. Uh, this is true. Now that we've got blue circuits. I kind of want to go to space first. But we might be waiting a minute on these cargo rocket sections. Why don't we have steel plate in here? Oh, we actually don't have steel plate in here. Because we're still making all these storage tanks. Okay. Uh, how about we shove the SRF in there? One less thing for the inserter to worry about. Maybe I should have put it directly in here, but I wanted to test it. Oh wow, that's a lot of solid rocket fuel. It goes in here. Maybe I should have just added a long arm to pick this up directly. Guess it landed just outside the range, but the splash damage still got to the buildings. Yeah, maybe. That is a possibility. I don't know, if it landed here, should that have damaged that? Mass lander? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Products finished. One and two. We got two cargo pods. Fantastic. And we only need one per cargo rocket section. Um, I think I will reduce the load on the box a bit here. We do need one belt for each of these, the way I want to do it. Because I'm going to use a loader. Control unit. Less than 50. Uh, wait, what? Oh, right, because of that. Okay, less than 100. And we'll do something similar for LDS. I was thinking of doing this earlier, but I just didn't think it would be that necessary. And then... This is heat shield. 
I don't think we could fit it there, could we? Let's do it here. Heat shield. I don't like that it's on a different screen from LDS now. Because so many things want heat shield plus LDS. I should probably go a bit ahead of the inserter for these. And we're pretty much out of room. Have some iron. Have some steel. I can't... I think I can do it that way. Oh wait. Oh no, that's already taken. Do it through there, but no, actually. I could do one into here. Spaghetti. This was supposed to be anti spaghetti. Let's get the high volume stuff. At the very least. Oh, we can't read from this because we're setting requests. Hmm. I think that's it then. I think we might be asking too much too much of our bots at this stage. Yeah, probably. Most definitely. I only wanted to do the set requests so that I wouldn't have to change all of these manually. So maybe we read contents. Disconnect that. We've still got the requests. And then... I think it's less iron and more steel that I should push up here. Where is steel? Is this it? Yeah, that's steel. Okay. So we're gonna go Undy. Loader. Hopefully the bots will figure that out. And then steel. Like so. Did not figure that out. Okay. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Okay. Um, if steel plate less than 200, belt it in. Still don't have iron chests? Did I do this wrong? Oh, I see. And apparently we're out of solar panels, but I'm glad to see that we've got a blank filter here most of the time. Don't have to worry that there's anything sitting in here that's not getting put in here. cargo pod? Why would it be cargo pod but not because of how each works? Yeah, I can see that. 
That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Oh, let's just give it the solar panels as well. Storage tank and pump still haven't been... Oh, yes, they have. I made the same mistake over here. Storage tank... I knew I had to fix those at some point, but I got distracted. And this is backwards. Alright, now we're getting our rocket fuel tanks. Fantastic. And that's everything. That will actually give us a rocket. Now, back to the CME. Uh, we require 154 steam turbines, if our math was correct earlier. We have 25. Uh, we can probably speed this up by delivering certain items. Oh, yep, the tier one assemblers have been stolen and they've been, the bots have been building those just to make sure we have room to expand blueprints. Oh well. Uh, let's put these here. Copper is also a high volume one. Why don't I just take all of that? And shove it in here. Gears? Gears are doing okay, but we could always bring some more ahead of time. This is not a passive provider. And that should keep this thing building as fast as possible for some time to come. Alright, let's say this thing produces... I think it's going to be bottlenecked on this sometimes. Maybe not. 10 seconds, 5 seconds. Not if we can keep up with the resources. Uh, we need like, what, 150? Uh, per hour we get 270. So if we can keep up with the resources it should be done in like half an hour. We've got three and a half hours still. We should be fine pretty easily. Seems like you have too few construction bots. Uh, you mean logi bots? Yeah. I limited them to 50. I don't really want to have them crashing, and I don't want to rely on them too much um, in this base. Even this is already kind of overkill. No construction since turbines are sitting in the chest. Oh, I don't have robot range over there. Which I'm not overly concerned by. Speaking of things I don't have built, uh, there is a coal belt over here that needs a little help. There we go. What's that bot doing? Repairing? And do we have... <gasps> we have two uranium fuel cells. That's twice as many as I was expecting or hoping for. We've actually got another seven U-235 in here. Um, That's way more than I was hoping for. So, we could perhaps take advantage of portable nuclear? It's quite big. There's still a single yellow underground belt on that coal line. Yeah, I don't think we need more than 15 per second. It, it bottlenecks over here as well. It's probably fine. Pr probably. 
Uh, how much do we get out of the portable nuclear? Whoops. 2.4 megawatt. That is not bad. That can almost keep up with a personal SMG laser defense. Let's put away the roboports. If I don't want to waste that battery charge, I'd have to put this over here. Ish. And we would go probably... I don't know, probably just one laser. Okay, I don't think we actually... I don't know, it's a hard... It's a tough choice, actually. We'd need one battery at least, so that we can peak at 3.4 megawatts. And then... Preferably two shields? At least one. Maybe two jetpacks. Let's recharge. Uh, damsel, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Uh, Chris Berto, Ben Wu, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's your, how's the rest of your stream, Dan, uh, damsel? Michelle, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Did you get the, uh, the neat science? Alright, so that's charged. Let's swap out for a jetpack. Let's make sure we've got jetpack fuel. That would be a good idea. It was great. Crazy stream today, my goodness. Didn't get energy back up, but got prod utility going again. Nice, nice. Boopy, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Let's get these rare metals out of my inventory. Um, and let's go get that uranium. I think while we wait for the rocket... It's actually 9% done already. Now that we got that fixed up. Yeah, it's about to be 10%. This is accelerating rapidly. So you got here more or less just in time for space, really. Oh, is that... Uh, okay, okay. I should have realized. Just holding the U-235. Not the U-235, but... Um, just holding this does damage, and yet we can put it in here. Alright, this is our first proper power armor, combat-wise. Well, proper, where do you draw the line? But we've got a personal laser SMG, uh, 2.4 megawatt from the portable nuclear reactor, 1 megawatt max output from the battery, 2.8 megawatt from the laser, 1 shield, 2 jetpack, I think it's time to go take some territory. Uh, and let's just confirm... It If we're using ad adaptive armor, it doesn't drain energy if we are moving around, as opposed to energy shields. I think you can store cells in the output slots too without taking damage. The output slots? Do you mean like the uh, consumed fuel cells? Um, let's make sure we take some ammo. I'll probably still do some turret creep, maybe? Well, creep is the wrong word. Um, but I think... Well, okay, the more I rely on the lasers, the faster we'll be consuming... ...our uranium fuel cells. So it's all going to cost one way or the other. Alright, I think what I want to do first is take all of this territory. Uh, we need this copper next, once this runs out. And while we're at it, 
we may as well, if we can, get to the point where we've got this little bottleneck and this relatively small bottleneck, or maybe these two to defend. Or if I wanted to if I wanted to be ridiculously greedy, we could get even smaller bottlenecks, but kinda not really. Actually, now that I look at it. Probably here and here would be best. It might take a while to go through that much, even with our current tech versus their evolution. I should probably check on our walls on the other fronts before I go. They're still doing pretty good by the look of it. That's a little disconcerting. Maybe I should go repair it first. Southeast is not even scratched, except for where it is. This one hasn't seen any action, which is lucky because I forgot to build out these stone walls. And north wall is pretty chill. Okay, let's get going. Except for where it is. Yes. That that that's how that works. I wonder what scary flavors of biters we've unlocked at this point. We've seen poison, I think. Lightning. No, I don't think we've seen lightning. We've seen regenerating tanky biters. Yeah, one, one laser SMG isn't all that, but it is going to help, definitely. We'll still do this. Oh, that's dealing more damage than expected. Ow. Alright, one down. Let's not waste ammo on these. Maybe I should have my cheaper med packs. Oh, I've got some here as well, still. Keep those in the hot bar in case of emergency. Yeah, that laser's not bad for this stage. Maybe I should go for two of them, though. How fast are we going through our nuclear fuel? Oh, it hasn't even... I can't even see a pixel missing yet. Okay. Alright. Maybe that's all the more reason I should go for a couple of lasers. I think we should go for two or three. What can I do? Two lasers, one armor, one jetpack? Seems... Probably optimal. Could use the sniper to take out the spawners while your laser deals with the... Po oh god. Okay. 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 That actually fully healed me. I don't think I can make these yet. I think I found them in a box somewhere. Yeah, these are the tanky regenerative biters, just to be clear. So... It's relatively strong. Remind yourself that overconfidence. I still don't see like a single killer. pixel missing from the first uranium fuel cell. Indeed, it is. Are these biters from K2? They are from Rampant. And while we're coming back, I'll go down to the southwest wall and fix it. Rampant? Oh boy, indeed. It's kind of a side grade for difficulty, though, because I turned off Biter Expansion. Hissing Walnuts? Welcome, welcome. I don't know what your settings are, but, uh, Nuke Biters. Yes. Fun Biters. Well, I don't know if most people would agree that having Rampant... Uh, without expansion is a side grade of difficulty. Uh, your mileage may vary on that one. Let's put some more turrets here. Hmm. 
good timing. I don't think they'll be taking a scratch anytime soon. Okay. So I want one more laser. Um... I don't think there's any reason to go laser sniper defense at this stage. Let's get 10 electronic components. And how easily can I make this? Oh, I've already got laser turrets on me. I do. Fantastic. I have a whole two of them. Electronic components. Those are inserter components. I need a whole 10 of them. Give me five. Give me five. Fantastic. It's a side grade, but the Armored Biters does make the game significantly harder past the first 200 hours. Is that so? We're still crafting. There it is. Alright, so we only have one... Oh, we still only have one shield. That hasn't changed. Yeah, I need to be a bit more careful than I was before diving into the bases to place turrets. I mean, I was doing that without shields before, but the biters are a lot scarier now. Whoop. Oh, that was quick. Yeah, doubling DPS makes a hell of a difference. Clearing the pyramids gets really dangerous. Oh yes, that sounds fun. That sounds like it could become an interesting problem. Let's do a little circle first. Oh, it's actually deleting the, um... It's actually deleting the worms quite quickly. This is only two SMG lasers. Alright. I think we can get them to aim at us a little bit. Whoops. And then do this and this. And this. That's pretty effective. We did lose a turret, actually. The trick right now is to find the right balance between time spent and resources lost. And risk taken. Maybe if I do like two flybys like this. And then just clean up like so. That was a much smaller base though. No inventory space for biomass, we are producing it infinitely. So I'm not that worried about picking it up. And we d we run out of space picking up the biomass uh, surprisingly quickly. That's a lot of trees. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not enough turret. Oh, that hurts. Okay, could you guys aim at me for a second? No? Oh, no. Okay, more turret. More turret. More turret. Probably what I should have done before. We haven't lost this one yet. I'm out of repair packs, though. Rescue him. Oh no, we're gonna lose turrets. Oh no, what have I gotten myself into? I have no more ammo. Already. Did I change it? I changed it so we're putting a hundred ammo in these things at some point, and I forgot to change it back to a smaller amount. Okay. That was kind of costly.
And yeah, it would have helped if I remembered repair packs. Um, I can make 23 right now. It's just stone that we're lacking. And now it's iron plate. Turrets are cheap if they're not filled with ammo, right? Uh, let's see. Ammo limit... 0 0.1 stacks? Oh, I think I have to slide this thing to get the decimal. Oh, that's items. Wait, what? No. There we go. 0 0.1 stacks. And we need it to be nice and fast. I think I haven't changed that yet. 0.3 second delay. Alright, let's repair our turrets. Maybe I should use bots for this, but then we're just going to use up a bunch of energy that I don't want to waste. Because the roboport will charge to full, even though we only need a little bit. Oh, hello. Sure. Base bots are too far away? Yeah, quite far away, actually. Alright, we need to cut them off at the so That is a huge base, wow. Okay, this is going to be a process. There's big worms everywhere as well. Oof. Okay. The spawners have way more hit points as well. I think they all regenerate as well. So we really need to focus on one spot. Maybe I should just use the rifle. Or maybe I should come back here with better gear later on. Oh, 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 I didn't think they could actually reach me. Is this nervous? Yes. So, JMO, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Try the rifle? Yeah. We've only got basic ammo for it, but that basic ammo is still pretty strong. Also, the rate of fire for it is much higher than I expected. Um, alright, how about... How about some turrets? And I'll do some sniping. Maybe I should make defender capsules. This is actually the stage of the game where defender capsules would be good. And it's a limited time offer. Let's see, we need EC, iron gear wheel, and ow, 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 holy crap. Sneaky. They hit hard when they get to you. Either defenders or just make mines and spawn them over the spawners. Oh, right. Yeah, that's a little... My shield went down in two hits. Okay. Let's go get some defenders. Uh, I could actually... Can they not be handcrafted? I've got everything on me. Yeah, it looks like they can't be handcrafted. Oh, hello.
All right, so ammo, EC, and gear. Should be able to belt that with relative ease. Or we might already have gear and EC, if we're lucky. Doesn't look like it. Is this looking for EC? Yeah, it is. Um... Yeah, I could just do those two here and bring them up to where the ammo is. And... what? Let's say we do that. We can't fit that there. Can't fit that there. How about this? And like this. And like this. Just spaghetti it backwards until we get to our ammo. Even more spaghetti than expected. Uh, I could move this, that should be fine. And then. There should be a bot on the way with that already. Yep. Fantastic. Auto crafter for the win. I guess technically I could have used the auto crafter for this, but I don't want to. That's actually outside. Do I care? Maybe. Alright, so defender capsule. And input code bro. I don't care if we don't make it too fast overall, but I will definitely Oh, armor piercing pistol mag. That's different. No wonder I couldn't craft them. Who noticed? Name in base, so JMO, no worries. Do that now. Did I miss anyone? I did, I think. Repetitive beats. Wrong ammo clip. Yep, there we go. Maybe make the red sniper ammo already? That might be a good idea, and I flew past it. As always. Repetitive beats. I think I got that wrong. Also, we have an E. Alright. Uh, repetitive beats. Fantastic. So, J M O. So, J M. So, so J M O. I actually got one more than needed. Railgun's range. Oh yeah, the railgun. That might actually be... I mean, this especially. This space right here. This might be the time to use our limited railgun ammo. I actually forgot about that. Alright, let me just make absolutely sure I didn't miss any... Redeems, I think we're good. Darudi, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. A warden from AAI is OP, yes. Absolutely. Spaghetti makes the world go round, indeed. Jaws Balsler, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Now, where did I put the railgun? That is the question. It should be in storage, I imagine. There it is. Okay, cool. And I would have actually, if I didn't have the auto trash mod, I wouldn't have a way to retrieve it if I didn't know where it is. But it was in logistics. Um, but let's get this pistol mag. Let's see. Might need a few more of these, actually. How about 50? Armor piercing pistol mag. Pistol. So it's coal, iron, and then steel. I think we got the steel here. I could steal the steel from here. Coal and iron. I'm really t I'm, I'm gonna spaghetti. It's... Oh, wait. Yeah, this is the same recipe, but also with copper. Alright. We're gonna spaghetti with the pistol. We're gonna bring that over here. We're gonna be one tile short. And power. We need steel. Just do this. Premium spaghetti. Name in base. GP uh, Dilka. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Same as rifle, except no copper, indeed. And there's our defenders. Alright. Uh, what's our max robot follower count? Oh, I should look here. That's the easier. Bonuses. Follower, robot count. That's damage, shooting speed. There's a lot of bonuses here. Here we go. Follower, robot count is 30. That's not too bad. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I've got one already, though. Yeah. I flew past it again, didn't I? I'm still somewhat not used to being this fast. Um, I might move this over here. G-P-D-I-W-K-A. That's not quite going to work. How about... What if I do it here, and... I can put a shorter name here at some point, perhaps. Whoa, what? 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 Why was that so slow? What the... What just happened? That was very strange. Be wary of capsules that deploy multiple? Yeah, the, uh... The Defender Capsules don't do that unless they changed it. Creates one times Defender. Tradition to fly past at this point? Yes. Uh, Nitty, Nifty Nathan, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Save for safety? Okay. Save takes longer than you might expect at this point because I already scanned Nalvis. All right, how's our... We've got 10. It's going to take a minute. I could steal some speed modules. We're bottlenecking on this. We're very bottlenecking on this. Let's get some speed modules. Can I make faster speed modules? Yes, I can. 20 small electric motor. All right. Give me exactly four of these. Wait, what? Never mind, give me 50. 
And give me some small electrics. Shouldn't I have those already? Oh, no. Small electric motor. Fantastic. For now, I'll pick them up manually. These things that I planned out just to make sure that we had room for expansion, the bots have helpfully built. Okay. Uh, two. Speed module twos. In the meantime, have some speed module ones, I guess. I could also put this here, I guess. As is light. As is light. We work in the dark to serve the light. What are we, Altair assassins? No Altair, we're electricians. <laughs> Amazing. Can I double this? Pretty easily by the looks of it. Fantastic. Let's do a couple more speed twos. I'm already out of small electrics, really. Some of the recipes in K2 really chew up these small electric motors. And I think even with the speed twos... We're actually already slightly net negative on the pistol mags. Never mind. How about if I do this? We're net positive now. Perfect. Just barely net positive on the pistol rounds. The inserter can't quite keep up. Let's get some fasts. I've actually run out of those. That's what I want to see. Imagine doing take K2 as lazy bastard. Oh god. Or worse, brave new world, aka bots only no engineer. Well, you literally can't. Um... Oh, I'm guessing there's some kind of stuff added to it with that. That's a mod, right? You need to do that challenge. But with uh, SE.6... You can't get requester chests or buffer chests for until we go to space, actually. We got a few for free. Alright, that is more than one stack. Well, not more than one stack. That is more than the maximum that we can have out at one time. Uh, for defender capsules. Passenger, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, that is two lots of Defender Capsules. Let's get our Railgun. And I guess I'll put away the Anti-Material Rifle. Or maybe I should put away the Pistol. That might make more sense. Uh, I can even give you these Pistol Mags. Pistol go here. Power Poles. We're actually out of power poles. Oh, those are the old, regular power poles. Huh. And we do have them. Because Autocrafter. Yeah. Oh, I didn't change this to look for... the lit power poles. Well, they would need the prerequisite of medium poles anyway. I'll come back to that. What am I getting out of my inventory? I don't know. Let's do shift C all over the place. Let even distribution figure it out. That freed up a few slots. Um, our railgun is here. We want to be careful with that. Don't even equip it. 
D don't even select it until we leave the base. Oh, how's the CME? Uh, we have three hours, actually. Wait, that means it's not going to be this stream. Yeah, it's going to be early next stream. But all of the preparation is happening this stream. That is a lot of steam we've got. What about our steam engines? Yep, we are right on track to be ready for that. Murray PD, thank you for the follow. Oh, well, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I should definitely get some more gun turrets. We lost a few of those. Also, repair packs. I need a bunch of stone. Just means your stream is a bit longer than you expected. Potentially. Um, what's taking damage? Ooh, that's bad. I think I should hit here first. I need some stone. Give to me some stone, please. That's only 10 repair packs. What am I missing now? Iron and copper. That's actually all inventory. And we're back to stone. Can I easily automate repair packs? Iron, copper, and stone. If we want to be just a little bit cheesy? No, not quite. But I think I will actually just do this. Let's just bring this here. Oh, and don't forget the stone. Number one reason why we have to keep coming back for more stuff to do this. Biggest danger is not having defenses and no emergency red shirt engineer to save your base. Brave New World, you start with a dozen solar panels. 10 accumulators, 5 road reports, a handful of bots, 1 purple, 4 yellow belt, 3 maybe 2, I see, I see. So just a bit more than enough, basically. Alright. I think I'll go repair this and head for the tanky biter base, actually. Because... That's where we're going to get the most value out of the railgun. Then again, I guess there's no real urgency. Okay, there's some urgency hitting the... Uh, hitting the regenerative biters. Because they're already a little bit tough. They're not a threat, but... They're going to get harder to dislodge. Oops. Let's add a couple of turrets here. I meant to pick up more turrets as well. We have had turrets automated for a very long time. Somewhere. Don't remember where though. Or was that the old base that I was picking those up from? That might have been it? No, I don't think so. Where did we automate turrets? 
What, okay, what goes into a turret? Does it change from vanilla? Iron gear, single cylinder, and iron beam. So that's a yes. Iron gear, single cylinder, iron beam. I have no idea where I'm building turrets. I actually don't know. I would have thought it was over here somewhere. Don't tell me it was a temporary build that I tore down and forgot about it. That, that is actually possible. Yeah, I th think maybe. I don't know, this feels really strange. I took turrets for granted for ever ago. It's not like the old military science recipe where we needed turrets. That's not a thing anymore. I think I'll just have to throw something together. Alright, so iron gear, single cylinder, iron beam. We've got two of those right here, but beams would be a problem. Oh, that's iron beam, actually. Okay. How about I move this thing? It's still functionally the same. And then... We split... about red. Turret. Fantastic. Alright. But right now we're stuck with 23. That's suboptimal. But I don't know if I even want to be throwing down turrets with how quickly they can die now. They only have 400 hit points. We've got the defender capsules instead. They're like flying turrets, kind of. And we've got quite a lot of them. Alright. Let's see what they can do. Let's make sure I go with more than two stacks of fuel, though. How about I clean up some of my inventory? I don't know why I have four LDS here. Get it out of here. I'm just going to shove things in the passive provider. Okay, that'll probably do it for now. You won't need to use turrets when you have the railgun. Yeah, probably. All right, that is 150 defender capsules. We can only use 30 at a time. Let's get our fuel. Maybe not that much. We do go through fuel faster than expected, though. Alright, we have our... Like, 99% of our first uranium fuel cell still. We have two lasers, one shield, one extra jetpack, and 30 defender capsules. Let's go.
I want to see how strong they are directly first. Not that... Uh, they're not bad. And if I keep them moving like that, they don't take much damage. Oh, it really depends. Yeah, they die kind of easy to this base, but this base is sort of an exception. Wow, the spawners are, are surviving railgun shots. I didn't notice at first. How fast am I going through my railgun ammo? That's already 2.5% of all that we're going to have before we can produce it for ourselves. Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay. Need to be a bit more careful than that. There's not going to be too many bases like this. I mean, this really looks like the exception as opposed to the rule, but still. Alright. We can at least kill these guys faster with the defenders. Quite a lot faster, actually. I just have to be careful about getting them hit by worms. Just gotta skirt the edges and not die. Space takes a lot of work to take out. I think I should make the better rifle ammo. Uh, the sniper rifle ammo, that is. Feel, I feel like just a little bit like I'm wasting the railgun. But at the same time... This base is kind of over the top. There's more. Screw the railgun, we need nukes. These are going to be the tankiest fighters that we come across, though, by a long shot. SMG doesn't do a whole lot. Well, it's not nothing. Okay, against that much it kind of is, actually. Tiny flies compared to the regenerative biters. Oh, that was a little bit of a waste. 
Can we not get this spawner down? There we go. Oh, are we out of energy? Okay. I need to wait for the battery to recharge. Those aren't counterattacks, are they? I wouldn't put it past rampant. Explosive rockets, maybe? Maybe. That might actually be really good. Uh, do we have... Yeah, we've got explosive rockets. How much more damage does this do? Same range. But it's like... 50% more damage, almost. Alright. If we can go to space already, I might go once I clear this one out, because it is going to be a task clearing out more space here. We're at 82%. That's not what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be ready, or maybe like 50% or something. 82%, not bad. Uh, how many of these do we have? We need 154 steam turbines. We have 109. Sniper damage is better when you have the red ammo, yeah. Battery's almost recharged. Okay, not any more, actually. Let's get those spawners. Maybe I should have used the sniper laser. It's a lot less energy efficient, like 50% less, but the uh, uranium fuel cells in the portable nuclear reactor is giving me far more energy than I expected. Like, overall, in the long run. Oh yeah, you can double shot by turning on the jetpack. Nothing cheesy about that. It's in the game, it's legal, it's fine, don't worry about it. I would use sniper laser even if it cost double energy. That's easy to say before you have, uh, like after you have lots of energy. Which we kind of do now, although we don't have lots of energy throughput, but the amount of energy that we can get to carry around with a uranium fuel cell, or a stack of them for that matter, uh, is actually quite a lot. Oh, we're bottlenecked again. But we got all the spawners, I think. Victory lap. Oh, I should not... I should not walk into the giant crabs. They're actually quite strong. If they reach you. Ow. said. One more. Fantastic. Okay, that was an ordeal. But that is probably the biggest... That is by far the biggest Bidenist 
that we're going to run into for a while. However, okay, those are spawners. Yeah, the ones that are red on the map, we haven't seen what they've turned into yet. So those are not all regenerative biters, thank goodness. The rest of them are going to be a lot easier to deal with. Looks like they're all spawners over here. Which basically, in effect, just adds a few more hit points to them. Especially when you have auto-aiming things like lasers. What's this? Regenerative biter. Oh, they're a slightly different color. Alright, well that's a relatively small nest, I'm not that worried about it. Common biters? Uh, fast? Spawner? Yeah, I think the rest of this is going to be a lot easier. That's a small nest of the type that we just killed. Alright, I'm going to stop checking every single one of these. Uh, we know that most of them are going to be easy to deal with. How fast do they regenerate? Could I do laps like this? Yeah, they don't regenerate that quickly. And they don't lead the target. to chew through before we get to those sweet, sweet spawners, though. Oh, we're bottlenecked. Okay. I would use sniper lit. Oh, I saw that already. Okay. We're still at 0%. What are we recharging? Oh, the laser. There it goes. The battery itself charges faster than the laser does by the look of it. So it's really not that much storage, but it does give us the plus one megawatt of output. So that we can run the laser at full speed. So hit and run is more the strategy we should be using here. I think it's about the same. I think the laser at full charge has about the same charge as the big personal battery. Well, that was just rude. Use the defenders? Yeah, true. Let's wait for our battery charge to get a little bit higher. die so fast, but they got a lot done already. The uh, regenerative biter nests have a lot more big worms than normal as well. not swing them into the bases. They do a lot of damage when I do it, but yeah. That, you can't really not swing them around at all.
I want to use them against the weaker types of fighters once we get to the next nest. Because I think I think there's going to be a pretty big difference in how effective they are. Maybe work from the perimeter and slowly move in. Um, they have finite lifespans though, like very finite. So you want to be getting value out of them. You can actually get a lot more damage out of them than the magazine that goes into making them. Uh, if you get, if if you have them shooting the whole time. I thought it was like a minute or so. It is 120 seconds. Is that a buff from vanilla? It might be. Right, let's have a look at this base with defenders. We'll see the difference. Battery's like 50% charged. Okay, going through the whole base kind of works, but we wouldn't have been able to do that with the uh, regenerative fighters, I think. Yeah, they are a lot stronger, or at least these biters are a lot weaker. Look at that. Pretty much the whole nest is gone. And it's only because I got stuck at the end that they got finished off, I think. That was a little close. It's fine. What do you mean? Don't worry about it. Not even close. Forehead. Are we bottlenecked? We're bottlenecked. Let's use defenders, that's what they're there for. Oh, how did regenerative biters get here? Or well, I guess it's not just regenerative biters that get the crabs sometimes. Bling them in. Fantastic. That was only 20 of them as well. They do put your lasers to shame? Yeah. When they can live for longer than a few seconds. Look at that. Just fling them in and out. That was more what I was expecting against the... Regenerative biters, but the regenerative are way stronger defensively. They're not much of a threat to your base, though, like ever. Gonna be getting a lot more value out of the defenders from this point on. Help if we can get them all not to be in the one group as well. 
All right, they just ran out of time. Let's try this. I'm going to throw out half of them. Swing them around a bit. And then throw out the next half. They're probably all going to end up in about the same place eventually, I imagine. Depends on how I move, I suppose. Yeah, they're all in the same spot now, basically. And in you go. And once again. Another bombing run. Oops. That probably cost a few of them. No, I don't think it did. Maybe it did. No, it doesn't show them as, like, something was destroyed here. well enough. Alright. On to the next one. It shows how many you have? Yeah, I can see that. Although I don't know what the count was at the time. Uh, Ira Bits Jr.? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And thank you for the applause. Wow. We finished off that whole base without even dropping more bots, I think. Unless my short-term memory just died. Cool trees. The bots should be dying right about now. Like, from timer. Let's try and make the most of them. Let's talk about this. And let's use the cheap heals. And let's use more defenders. Because our time is more valuable. That was pretty effective. Well then, um, while we were fighting the regenerative biters, it seemed like it would take forever to clear out this uh, ambitious amount of space that I wanted. But now that we've got past them, it's looking a lot easier. There should be more than enough uh, defender capsules built to replace these ones by the time we go back.
Look at all the... You, you can't even really see the little spawned enemies, but especially against the background of Zerg creep. But you can see the bullets from the defenders tracking and hitting them all. It's like just a wave of bullets. In we go. Should probably start thinking about what to take to space as well. What are we at? Like 90% on our first ship? Or cargo rocket, I should say. And down this way. Was this the regenerative ones? It is. Yeah. I'll leave you to it for now. Okay. Oh. Unintentional attack. How's our cargo rocket? It is ready. Fantastic. I'd focus on setting up delivery cannons for lots of stuff since they're easy to redirect and expand upon. Yeah, delivery cannons are great for lower scale. On the other hand, if we plan carefully... If we, if we plan carefully, if we're the one person who doesn't forget to take things up with the cargo rocket, uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. Kind of hard to do this while we're bottlenecking on power. I guess I'm overall wasting energy from our press, uh, not so precious, really, uranium fuel cell. Uh, by taking longer to kill it. Since they keep spawning enemies. I would like to at least get the ones in the pollution cloud, although I don't think Rampant really plays by those rules. Uh-oh. Okay, okay. A little bit too ambitious. Where's my cheap heals? There we go. Whoa, 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 why can't I heal? Because these ones are slower. The smaller heals are actually better for spamming heals. You can go as fast as you like with them. I think they actually have more heal per second. Smaller than these ones, I mean. Okay. How's our battery? Not great. Why don't we just go back for the moment? Copper isn't moving that fast. Maybe I should upgrade the drills. And see exactly where the robo network stops. Alright, so what are we taking to Nalvis Orbit? I'm more thinking about what I want to bring back, which is everything. Um... On the other hand, well, I want to bring back all of the blue and green chests. 
There's not that many of them. And the guns, of course. I need to think about what to actually accomplish while we're in Nalvis. Uh, in orbit, that is. When do we get the research that lets us... Is this it? Unlocks the ability to use the capsule for personal transport. It's only 50 space science packs. We can only use the space science packs in space, right? Do we have a lab up here? I think I saw one. Yeah, advanced lab. So I'm pretty sure that can take the rocket science packs. I think unlike SE.5 and or SE without K2, they don't actually gift us some rocket science packs. So we have to be prepared to make them. One lab is really slow. If we're only going for 50 research, uh, it's not going to be that much of a problem. Oh wait, it's 500? No wait, what am I looking for? We already researched this. Uh, what was a capsule? Yeah, it's 50 times 30 seconds. What's the craft speed of the lab? Uh... It's almost five. I think they're upset. So it would take, uh, let's see, 30 seconds times 50 divided by about five. About 300 seconds, which is about five minutes. Yeah, I'm really not worried about that. It's more producing the science itself. Um, let's see. Rocket science pack. Processing unit, space transport belt, solid rocket fuel, stone, cosmic water. The biggest problem is cosmic water is what I was going to say before remembering that. Okay. Space assembly machine. Can we not make those yet? We've got them. Big electric processing unit LDS heat shield. Oh, here they are, derp. I can handcraft them. Let's make one. I, I'm i getting the hunch that... Oh, this is kind of easier to make than... Uh, this is kind of easier to make than assembly machine too, honestly. And it's as good as assembly three. But I'm getting the impression that it won't let us put these on the ground anymore. I didn't read the text yet. Yeah, cannot build on snow. I'm pretty sure you used to be able to put these on the ground. Maybe I'm wrong. Where does it say... Cannot be placed on land. Okay. So... We need these to make the space science packs. We need space transport belt and cosmic water. I think space transport belt? Yeah, it can only be made in space because it can only be made in space assembly machine. So there's a bunch of oil up there already. I mean, not that much. 10, a uh, hundred barrels, which is, I believe, 5,000 heavy oil. Oh, we've got lubricant already. We've got lubricant and water. So we should be able to make cosmic water. 
uh, we will be needing decontamination facilities. Why don't we start by making a stack of that? I could have done this remotely, is what I'm just realizing. The fun emanation facility, stack size 10. Does it have a prerequisite? Wait, what is it made in? Surely we can make these. Decontam... It's only made in a space assembly machine. Okay. Uh, so we need to take all of the prereqs for these things with us. We need to take a stack of space assembly machines just to be safe. And... What am I missing right now? LDS and big... Electric motor. Heat shield. How many do I have? Six, eighteen. All the motors, chips, and lots of plates, yeah. So, what did I just click? There we go. Um, obviously, everything it there's a big, there's a lot of overlap here. Big electric processing, LDS heat shielding, and then space pipe. Space pipe is plastic, glass, steel, copper. All right, why don't we start making a list? Uh, big electric, LDS heat shield. Uh, processing unit. Space pipe is plastic, glass, steel, copper. Plastic. Uh, where plastic? Here it is. Plastic, glass, Steel and copper, and then that's going to carry us to making some decontamination facilities. And what about space belt? Small electric. And then we don't need anything extra. Well, yes, we do. Red circuits. Uh, so that'll give us decontamination facilities, space pipe. Well, we need space pipe to make this in the first place. Um, space underground, space splitter, if necessary. And... What else was I looking for? Cosmic water is just water plus lubricant. If I am not mistaken. Water plus lubricant, but it can only be made in space by a decon facility. Uh, we need to bring up stone and solid rocket fuel. I should check for some of these things being already up here. We've got a whopping 200 of each type of, uh, 400 of each type of tech card here. A bunch of iron and copper, beryllium, space manufacturing, scaffolding, rails, solar, um, stone, coal, sulfur, vulcanite.
Some free solar is already placed as well. Some belts, space pipe. It's not going to be that harsh. What is this? A ruin. Some filter inserters. Uh, some raw fish med packs. I am, of course, going to need some life support. How the blueprint of the automatic assembler Mark II works? It doesn't work for me. Uh, do you mean this one? Or which one are we talking about? This one? This one. Okay, so well, let me put it into sandbox. Circuits up to... Okay, so how this works... We've got our list of... This is our list of stuff that we do not want to be put into the dynamic requester chests. So we've got negative a million of each of these things on the green wire that goes to the requesters. Uh, and we're requesting those things in these request chests. This is our list of stuff we do want to craft. And that basically gets, compared to what's in the robot network. Oh, it's not actually connected. That might be an issue. Uh, we read from the uh, RoboPort the logistic network. Multiply that by negative one. I've got a each has to be greater than zero here because sometimes when the bots are picking up things they report that as a negative uh, and that can sort of throw things off a bit. So we're subtracting what's in the robot network from what we want here as a positive. We have a timer uh, that Resets once every 30 seconds, I think. And then we've got... When t equals 2, output everything, input count. The everything is the negative of what's in the robo network. When t equals 1, reset. Okay, so we've got a memory cell here, r equals 0. We're resetting that, and then we're pulsing what's in the robot network into this memory cell. Uh, we're removing the signals T and P. I don't remember what they're for exactly yet. Uh, and I think... Does this connect here? I think it does. Because we don't want to send a constant signal from this to a memory cell. So I think this goes to this input. So we've got the positive of what we want minus what's in the robot network. That gets pulsed into here. And then after that it's just a repeating pattern of um, anything greater than zero output anything. That outputs the first signal in an arbitrary order. And then we, one tick later, at the same time as this, we output everything from the same wire. And then we subtract whatever came out of this thing. So basically, these three combinators on repeat are going to take one signal out of this list and separate it and then pass on the rest. So if I'm correct about that... Oh, the recipes are set, so that was probably it. Let's see. I'm going to disconnect this, and when the timer resets the memory cell, all the recipes go away. So this wire should connect to this. And once that uh, once that again Oops, hits 1800... Oops, wire has not connected hype mine a thousand thanks for the blueprints. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Yeah, sorry the blueprint didn't have that wire connection. 
I had to, like, reverse engineer it from my past self. So then, for the recipe setting, it's pretty straightforward. Um, we've got our... Uh, on the green... Uh, on the output of this thing, we've got the recipe that we've selected from that list. Uh, that goes to Recipe Combinator, Find Ingredients. Find Ingredients goes to the Requester Chest. Uh, we don't want to input results by input count because, unfortunately, without adding even more combinators, there's no way to, like, have this, but limited so that we don't overload the blue chest. Um, and maybe at this point somewhere I could, like, normalize the numbers that we're putting in for these. But then some recipes take an enormous amount of input, and some recipes not so much, so there's that as well. Uh, but yeah, then we've got, like, empty that chest is set to set filters blacklist, so whatever's not supposed to be in this chest is shoved into here. Um, we've got random storage chests, because we can, and the output always just goes to here. And this thing is just set to write from the same output as this thing. Um, I guess that could have been a red wire going like this. It would have been a little bit less readable, I suppose. Um, but yeah, that's writing the recipe to the assembly machine. What does this even do? It is an auto crafter. So, let's pretend we finished crafting all these chests. We're going to get a total of zero or less with those chests. Once that reaches 30 seconds, we're going to change recipes, and voila. I'm just allowing passive chest with one slot and say close enough. Oh, I see. You have to do mod 10 with the input and then send it to the blue chest. Hmm. Yeah, I see where you're going with that, but again, like, the recipe for a cargo landing pad or a cargo rocket silo requests an enormous amount of steel, for example. And if we say, if, if we pick an arbitrary limit of, like, Request the in request request the resources for ten of whatever this is. Then when it goes to cargo rocket silo, then you're gonna get in trouble. Um, but on the other hand, that's one more reason why we've got these requester chests for common items. Um, and we don't allow those items to be requested in the dynamic requester chests. Can you also ready the demand items from the network? Ready the demanded items from the network. The player requests an item and that said item isn't available network, then it gets manufactured. I don't know if you can get a signal from that. Um, let me check. I think I might know a way to find out. What is something we definitely don't have? Cryo gun? All right, I'm requesting five cryo guns. Now then, uh, logistic network, green wire. Okay, how about this? Uh, decider combinator, each less than zero, output each. I don't think it's going to give us a negative for this, no. It's only when the bots go to pick something up that we sometimes get a negative. The problem there is how do you get a signal when that happens, and I don't think there's a way, as far as I know. They used to? They show up as negative values in the logistic network. I see. Well, maybe it's because it's not researched yet. I, I doubt it. Okay, what's... Cargo rocket sections. We've definitely researched that. Um, and it's definitely 
not in the logistic network. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, don't shoot. Cargo rocket section, go. Yeah, it's not giving us a negative signal. Okay. So there's a negative of everything as the base value? You could just wire up a constant combinator that says you want to have like a hundred of everything. Uh, how, how would that help with this? I'm not sure if I follow. Um, have we figured out everything we need to get our first 50 or more space science packs? I think so. I think we have. Do I have any more um, requester chests lying around that I can use? I don't think I do. I could probably stop using this one though. We've got more than enough media point defenses. That's a lot of defender capsules. Is all of this stuff on the bus? Yes, 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 yes. And yes, actually. Um, trouble is, it's 12 different types of items. We've got 10 points of access here. I could curve stuff around this way, I suppose. We've got 500 stacks. Um... About 40 stacks for each, and we'll have a few left over for anything else I didn't think of. How about we go for 30 stacks of each to start with? And... like so. The wire's only connected here. Fantastic. All right. Uh, low density structures. What did I say? Forty stacks or thirty? That's a that's a lot. Thirty times fifty. How about we go twenty times fifty? One thousand. I just realized some of these are going to go over, it's not going to be precise. I'll worry about that a little bit later. Alright, everything that's stack size 50 will be the same. Actually, well, let's just copy this across for now, we'll change it. This can be solid rocket fuel, because obviously it's very, very close. Uh, 20 stacks. Uh, yeah, I can math. Should we take more rocket fuel? I, I think rocket fuel is one of the obvious ones where we should take more than we expect to need. But there are blueprints of constant combinators with a one of everything on them. Yeah, uh, if you have like a one or a negative one or something of everything on them, it's usually because it won't, if you have like a anything greater than zero or everything greater than zero or something like that, Factorio combinators don't recognize a zero, basically. You can't have a zero value. That was quick. Whoops. Whoops. There we go. Um, and the next one... Should we take rocket control units up there? I don't think we found a reason to, but... Maybe? Cargo rocket section... No, I don't think we will. Uh, 
LDS, definitely. So we're going for 1k? Seems good. Heat shielding, same deal. Let's not connect that yet. Uh, it's got the same stack size, right? If, if, if they changed it so that heat shield LDS didn't have the same stack size, that would be even worse than not having heat shield LDS next to each other in the crafting menus. How could you separate heat shield LDS? The greatest love story never told. Rocket fuel and blue green motors. Wait, what? Yes, yes, yes. Um, what's further down here? Big motors? We'll do that because it's right here. Big motors. I remember needing a lot of these. Battery? I don't think so. Plastic? Yes. Plastic has a bigger stack size. But do we really need that much of it? What did we need plastic for? Uh, I'm not going to do F and EI. That's going to have too many results. Uh, not belts. Space pipe. And I think that was the only thing. Directly, that is. So we probably don't need... A th I was going to say the same number of stacks. Since it has a stack size of 100, we could go for 1,000. That should be fine. Wait, maybe I should have let these fill up first so that they would be nice and neat. Gotta make scaffolding in space now? Indeed. Yeah, we can't take scaffolding up. Uh, what was next? Red circuits? And since they have a stack size of 200... What do we need them for? You know what? I, I don't care. We're going to take 2,000. I do not want to run out of something like that anytime soon. Small electric. I heard Bitefrendo. Bitefrendo has come all the way down here now. Probably slowly pushed over here by the main bus. Which means I could move him to wherever I want eventually with some belts and patience. Uh, what was this going to be? Small electric. It'll be the same as big electric, I think. Actually... Considering we use an entire stack of small electric to make one roboport, I'm I'm a little concerned. But it seems like we only need them for belts. One small electric per belt. Can you not command him to follow or something? Uh, not to my knowledge. And I think we needed glass as well. Let's check our list. Blue circuits I haven't done yet. Glass, yes. Steel, copper, stone. Okay. Check, check, check. Not check. Check, check. Check. I think it's just these five. Glass, steel, copper, stone, processing unit. And you'd think iron, but I didn't see iron out of the things we were looking at. And there's also some iron up there. 
We should definitely fill our inventory to the brim of things we might need as well. What is this belt? It's coal. Still haven't fixed all of these. Whoop, no, don't do that. Could have just dragged this across, actually. That's wrong. Don't delete that, please. Why are we copy pasting trees? Uh, sure. Now then, glass is all the way down here. Um, I think I want to do glass next. That's copper. We do need copper, maybe I should do that first. Copper, probably same as plastic. stone and steel. Oh, we went past steel. Rip steel. Uh, steel can go here, I suppose. Steel... And I think our bots can't reach some of this stuff. Oh, I don't have red belts. Maybe it would be easier to just expand the robo network first. I don't think I have my... Oh, yes, I do. Small electrics is what I was going to say. Uh, where are we going? Here it is. Oh, that, that is an issue. Hey, Valdo. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We need some power. Somehow. Bots are already on their way, because RoboPorts start with a little bit of free charge. And... So we have ten of these. We need two more, at least. So that was... We didn't do copper yet, did we? Yeah, we did copper, we did steel. I don't think we did stone, and I don't think we got to glass. Alright, stone goes here. Actually, might be a little bit neater. Damn it. Okay, back, back we go. These ones are going to be offset. No? That actually lines up perfectly with that. Alright, never mind. We're just gonna have to do this. And that was stone. Stone only stacks to 50. And I don't know how much of it we're gonna need. Um, what did we need stone for? I don't 
remember. Is it the... It's actually the science packs. The science packs themselves. There's already some stone up there, and... That's like 500. And we're not going to... As far as I know, we won't need it for anything else. We can also pick up stone from here. Or wherever. Eventually. We've got water ice as well. That's good. Um, But I think I will take a bunch of stone. How about... 500. The bus is a bit huge. Yeah, it gets that way. Iron? For science? Wait, what? Oh, there's already iron up there. And I checked. Like, everything we're trying to make short-term, we don't need any iron for. So, maybe not. We'll see. We shall see. What have we not done? Uh, copper? We did copper. I think it's only blue circuits. And glass. Blue circuits and glass. Yeah, blue circuits and glass. Okay. Can I actually squeeze some in from the side? That might be good, question mark? Yeah, we could do it this way. What the? How did I even do that? All right, so where are blue circuits? Way down here. Way, 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 way down here. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. Um, this one would have to zigzag a bit, but then this one's already in the way. I guess this would go here, and this would have to have, this would have to be offset. Where's glass? What is this? Iron beams. Well, we won't be needing those for a minute. There's glass. That lines up pretty well. Team Spaghetti. This is my original bus. I'm slowly dismantling it. T Hax has bigger bus. Oh my goodness. You have a lot more lanes for copper, that's for sure. Uh, blue chips, or processing units rather. Which one's glass? This one? So. Processing units are going to be like so. That actually lines up perfectly. Fantastic. That bus is massive, Veltec. Uh-oh. Okay, now I have to see more of it. Uh, what? Okay. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lanes of copper. Presumably the same of iron. Four lanes for stone. My god. Uh, 
let's get some wiring over here. And this is going to be glasses stack size 100, right? 200. Let's do the same as red circuits. And last is blue circuits, which is going to be half of that. Do we need to do anything else to connect this? Uh, yes, yes we do. I forgot I don't have RoboPort right now. In fact, I should get back to attacking quite soon. Um, but yeah, that should just about fill our rocket quite well, except for how we go slightly over stack. I could have given them inserters and controlled the stack size, but it would have taken a lot longer to load. Alright, why don't we grab some more defenders? Um, we've still got like 97% maybe slightly less out of our first uranium fuel cell remains. I need more room in my inventory. I'm not actually using the piercing rounds. Uh, I don't actually have a place to put them. Here we go. And let's take these defenders. We've still got a thousand, uh, what is it called? Processed fuel? Should be able to clear all of this out before our rocket is fully loaded. Unless we've got that many processing units saved up, we kind of do, actually. I guess I'm out of reasons to procrastinate going to space. Um, I would like to make more space assemblers. Let's get the prereqs for those in our inventory. Which is mostly big electric, I think. What are we up to? 26? We're halfway there. LDS again. I think we've probably already got enough, to be honest. Chips are first thing after smelting. I even have built-in green circuits. Those other lines each go to... Uh-oh. Okay, that was nothing, actually. Go to sciences, and I think the line is for mole. Other is shot to space to make cards. Remember to bring tons of red, blue, green inserters when you go. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to use this cargo rocket to mostly fill it up with, like, you know, high-volume intermediate products and stuff that we need. I'm going to hold uh, a bunch of stuff in my inventory as well. Let's throw out some defenders. Speed things up. That is brutal. Look at the wave of bullets hitting all the tiny spawns. So much for um, combat mechanics overhaul forcing us to aim. Fantastic. That's actually our bottleneck that we want to secure down there already. Oh, 
fast fighters are generally not the scariest fighters. Some of them got damaged. They, they're nearing the end of their life already, though. They should probably have a shortcut key for the defenders. Or at least a quick way to access them like this. What type of biters are these? Fast. Nope. Oh. 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 Nope. 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 Oh, thank you. Ow. 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 Okay, those small ones can actually be surprisingly dangerous. And I forgot to get some cheap eels again. Can I make some? Wood, fish, and iron plate. Or wood, iron plate, and biomatter. Give me some wood. very far at all though. I, I need them in high volume. Nah, that should do it. Gaming, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Give you a shout out as soon as I have some hands free. How's your stream today? Let's head over this way. Factorio seems good. We're just getting ready to go to space. In fact, the rocket should probably already be full of the items that we want to take up there for the first time. And let's see if we can make the most of these defenders. There's like two of them left, actually. I want the rest to be in sync. These two just don't want to die. I built an outpost that supplies 106k stone per minute to my base. Wow. Alright, fine, we'll start placing more of these. Never enough DACA. Okay, this may be enough DACA, at least for now. Possibly. The ancient Egyptians would like a word. Oh. And 
once more with Finn. Fantastic. We're like maybe less than a quarter of the way done clearing this big area that I want before we build more walls. But a big chunk of that was fighting the really strong regenerative biters. Maybe you need help from Squidder Cat? What's taking damage? Walls. It's probably fine. It's not that fine, but it's fine. It's a three on the fine threshold. And onward. Zero media is destroyed. Where was... Oh, that's orbit. And rip defenders. We've only got 925 left. be careful of the little tiny spawns of all things because they can kind of trap me sort of It's not a spawner, is it? Only for thir only for other thirty rounds. We crumping biters, good boss, or we need more. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Always more Daka. Oh, I haven't killed this yet. I think that was the other um, regenerative biters. So this one's actually going to be a bit tougher. They're really not a threat to the base, but they are much harder to kill out there's. I think we've got a decent pattern down. Good mixture of damage and defense. No. Oh, that was all of them. With rip defenders. They died just before finishing the job. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, okay. Alright. It's fine.
Alright, is that a nest that I haven't got? Yeah, it is. How's our cargo rocket? Are we actually finished loading this stuff? We are. We've still got uh, most of the rocket empty. What else should I take? Do we really need to fill it? Probably. I'll just keep adding more intermediate products to it. Ah, uh, phone. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Scooping up creep would probably reduce your save times? Really? That's unfortunate. Because it's a little late for that. Hi, Love Factorio Plus Space. Fantastic. Come to the right place. Space is the place. That is not a biter nest. There is a mod that removes the creep over time. Hmm. Yeah, otherwise I'm going to have to go on a lot of trips. Unless I can remove it via the navsat or something. That would be pretty funny, but also very helpful. This is working pretty well. Fantastic. Alright, we've cleared this whole area now. We are getting there. It doesn't seem like the biters are just about to overtake us in terms of military strength. Or at least, like, make it really difficult to take more territory. So we can probably afford to go to space for at least five minutes. ones are kind of tanky. Oop. Still haven't lost one yet. Alright, I think I've had enough of playing with biters for a few minutes. Let's do some space. Actually, maybe after a break, as soon as I get back. Oh yeah, we've only got like an hour left after the break. Time flies, I guess. As soon as these defenders run out, or we get this base down. Of 
Okay, let's go back. Let's let's go back. Oh my god. Oh my really? Okay, okay. Alright. Do not underestimate Holy crap, they got me again. Um do not underestimate the tiny ones, is what I was saying, and then they turned out to be even faster than I thought. <laughs> By space. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Uh, but how am I going to get back there? I've got a car and a lot of defender capsules. I think we can recover our corpse instead of making more power armor. Well, more... What is it called? Uh, thruster suit. Time flies fast has three meanings. Hmm. Where's our car? Over there. Let's get our defender capsules. If I'd thrown out more Defender Capsules, I also wouldn't have died there. Uh, let's see. Defender Capsules. And I might... Well, I'm not going to bother grabbing ammo for the car. I think it's already got it anyway. But more importantly, Defender Capsules are going to be a lot more useful. Glad we have the car. Oops. You saw nothing. Should probably get some repair packs, actually. Okay, fine. Get repair packs. They're all the way at the other end of the bus. I didn't even see that. Partly because I was looking over here. Also, I forgot that I even had to look out for those. Oh, here it is. Fantastic. Pro probably should allow more than 100 repair packs to pile up. It's a lot, but it's not a lot, a lot. Oh, how's the CME? 90 minutes still. Whoops. Alright, let's squeeze through here. Should probably throw out some defenders. Just in case there's biters that I don't see. And it's kind of a long way to drive, actually. And we're going to have to drive the car back as well. Unless I want to... There's way too much stuff here for me to put it in my inventory. About to lay the herd on some biter nests. Be more careful than I was. The thing about those small, the tiny biters that get spawned is they don't look like a threat until it's too late. They get destroyed, they, they get shot to pieces very, very easily, very, very quickly. I guess I don't have cliff explosives, do I? Should I go up and around? Mm, I'm going to have to go past more biter nests if I do that, I think. Can I get through here? 
I cannot. Can I get through here? Yes. Okay. Rip tree. So much debris that we have to dodge. There go our defenders. I'm gonna add a few more this time because we should see biters before they run out. Well before they run out, I would imagine. Alright, I guess it doesn't tell us... Oh, it does tell us where our corpse is. That's... Thank goodness for that. And... Through here. Oh boy. Glad I had the defenders out. Okay. Alright. I think they're upset. There's even more of them. And we gotta deal with the uh, base as well. Mm, we can't really drive through there. That's our corpse up there ish. The car's going to get destroyed. I'm not careful. Or if I'm unlucky. Just seeing the corpse is going to be a problem as well. Uh, it's right here somewhere. Let's do tree x-ray. Wait, where's tree x-ray? X-ray vision isn't working on these trees. Oh, no. Um, I guess... Oh, there it is. We got it. Okay. Um, um, give me... Give me all of that, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Where's the car? Okay, we got there. Can always click on chords in console. Uh, I guess. Or can we? Let's drive back. Scratch that. I think I'll take a break before I drive back. Let's do some words on stream. Before my lack of concentration gets us killed again. Use the console to click on the death mark. Okay, next time. Alright, 30 seconds, we're going to start some words on stream, continuing at level 7, actually. Uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck and have fun.
One more. One more. Fantastic. All right, let's continue with some space exploration. And the shameful drive home. So there's two things I need to do before I go to space. Um, I need to ensure we're ready for the CME. And I need to put more stuff in the cargo rocket. Oh, and I need to make sure I've got life support. I think we've already built that. I just haven't, like, made sure it's in my inventory and stuff like that. We've got life support mark one here. Why driving? Uh, it's definitely not because I died and had to recover my corpse. That would never happen. I would never die one second after saying, don't underestimate these enemies right next to me. That's literally impossible. It couldn't happen. Not once. Don't worry about it. I ran out of fuel when I was at the edge of the moon. That was 900 shameful tiles to walk back. Ouch. Well, you can fly now? Yeah, but then the car will be out here. I can't fly the car back because the car is full of stuff. Fridley, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Nope. 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 Okay. Fine. I'll cut you down. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Can we please get out of the forest? There we go. Aim in base? No worries. Uh, De, De Camillo? We'll do as soon as I get back. Build a large robo network and let robots recover car content for the rest of the game? Uh, probably not. Do inserters take things out of cars? I think that's how that works. All right, we're almost there, kind of. Down we go. There's our walls. Oh, and this needs repairing. Good 
probably stand to add some more gun tarts here. Okay. Um, also, our rocket is not even half full. Maybe I should just double what I'm putting in for some of these uh, uh, intermediate products. Where is the... The bio sludge... Not bio sludge, biomatter. Biomatter build. Put that in there. Alright, so life support. Um, I think I just have to pick up a stack of it, right? I haven't... How is there no water here? Oh, did I break... Did I mess this up? I did. Unfortunate. So now we have to wait on life support. That won't take long, though. We should have all of the steam uh, turbines that we need. Why don't I go and put these defender capsules away for the moment? Let's grab our steam turbines. That should be almost enough to finish the build in one go. Um, let's get some robots, actually. On your belt, a monster OP movement? Uh, do you mean our biter friendo? Or... What, what were you trying to say? This guy? He's a good boy. Investment for future accidental deaths car? Uh-oh. Oh, name and base. Let's go. Do I have stone bricks? I do. It's right down here. Uh, D, D Camillo. Let's see. And plastic. Where can I fit it? I might just put this somewhere with a bit more snow. Like this. Fantastic. The bots definitely make that a little bit easier. Why do we have no power here? Oh, I see. What's the point of the good boy? Yes. Yes, he is a good boy. That That is the point. That's our bite of friendo. Uh, are we actually done building this, or are we a little bit short? We are done. And we've got, like, 30% full on this ludicrous amount of steam storage. Nice. If that doesn't get us through the two CMEs, I will be mildly surprised. Oh, and uh, there is one final component that we need to get through a CME, and that's the umbrella. So we need 100 processing units, 100 batteries, 200 of everything else. I also want to put some media point defenses around our steam battery. What's the range like on this? Pretty big. 
but just to be sure, I'll put a few extra. And... What do I have? Four stacks and eight turrets? We can put in half a stack to each. Let's change even distribution for a sec. 0 0.5 stacks. And then I just click drag, uh, click drag this across. Fantastic. Can I maybe do multiple of these at once? No, I made it too fast for that. These two need some power. As do these ones. And last but not least. Alright, how's our coverage? I think there's a bit in between. Theoretically, the power poles could get destroyed by a very unlucky media. So let's make some redundant connections. And a couple more point defenses, perhaps? And test. Wait, did I not put any in that last one, actually? Oh. Let's put these back for now. Awesome cat. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's make the... Uh, let's make the umbrella. We need battery, processing unit, concrete, glass, steel, copper. Battery. Processing unit is way down here, actually. Concrete, glass, and I think we have copper. Concrete, glass, and double the copper, double the steel. Okay. Casually handcrafting this giant thing in 10 seconds. Let's put it... I think I want to put it next to the steam battery no matter what, right? Yeah, definitely. Holy crap. That was a spike. That was quite the spike of power. Look at that. Look at what it's done to my graph. Look what they did to my boy. Okay, but it seems like we're okay now. Let's make sure we're looking at the whole network. That is the whole network. Wow. Fantastic. Okay, so defenses are in place. This one's looking a little weak, but not that bad. This one's totally fine. 
Although it costs a bit of ammo to chew through the tanky biters. This one's also fine. Uh, one snipes, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I forgot to put a chest here. Are you kidding me? Okay. Wait on even more. Oh, there's no blue circuits in here anyway. Well, there's your problem. We need one blue chip for each life support unit. We'll take a couple of stacks just to be sure. Spy Chase, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This is 2x2, two two, right? Yeah, we're good. And then... I just want to shove a bunch of stuff into the cargo rocket. A bunch more stuff, that is. Alright, let's maybe stop at 100 for steam turbines. I'm sure I'll be using some more of those later on. Spikes are unacceptable. Graphs have to be smooth as a baby's face. Okay. Maybe we should put some iron in as well. Could I get it through here? I could. Same green wire. That looks even messier, actually. Iron plate less than... I don't know, a thousand? What's copper? A thousand. I'm thinking more, more rocket fuel, because we definitely don't want to run out of that up there. Uh, splitter. Here we go. Oh, this is in the wrong spot. I guess like this. And here comes our iron. Let's do a request for inserters. Whoops. And belts. Well, we're not doing those yet. I'll leave room for that stuff. Power poles. Let's save this for the moment. Head over to where the mall-ish area is. Why has this got no fuel? Oh. I think we need to fix that bottleneck on the coal already. That includes over here as well. Particularly in this direction. You could pre-craft space pipes. I don't think we can. I think they can only be crafted in space now. Space pipe. Yep, only made in a space assembly machine. Same goes for belts. We got the splitter. We got to upgrade a splitter. Three. Thank you. Let's go make sure we get this one. 
we actually have like more than 15? Okay, we must have more than 15 per second. Otherwise, this would not be such... Oh, it goes all the way back here, being yellow. Okay, let's do that. Go, bots, go. Can you bring, bring some thruster suit and life support canisters to Oni? I wish. Oh, I already ran out of reds, because of course. That's why I wanted to know if materials for them are loaded. Really want you to use the space elevator, yeah. But we don't have it yet. Give me some more red belt. More than that, please. I think I'll just bump up the limits on all of these products here. Let's say 500 solid rocket fuel. Uh, big electric, we're going to double. Plastic? Maybe not. Red circuits. Blue circuits. Copper and iron. Who's taking damage? South wall. It's going to last for quite a while still, I think. Did we get this done? Almost. Alright, what's the actual rate that we can get? Where is this coming from? Oh, way down here. I forgot about that. Okay, rate calc. Still 42 per second. Well, that's good. Although we don't have any lane balances or anything, so it's going to be a bit slower than that in reality. But it looks like it... Well, we're not going to know until this is not bottlenecked further up. Um, we might be able to keep this saturated at 30. I definitely want to take more steel as well. Uh, what about stone brick? I feel like we're going to need stone brick and or concrete. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. I guess worst case we could make stone brick when we're up there. Or can we? We can't use this in space. We don't have the technology to make a space furnace. Well, I'll just carry some. I don't think we need it at that kind of scale. Um, belts are going to be useless. So why don't we just turn off our personal logistics for now. We've got inserters. Rail is also going to be useless. A regular pipe is going to be useless. Pumps are good. Combinators, we could definitely use some more of, just in case. Give me all of those, please. Don't think we need 50 power switches, though. How do we have damaged wood? That's so weird. 
We're starting to see some fuel in here, so that's good. Um, we could do more intermediate products, maybe. We can make those out of other things. Steel cogs. We've we've got a lot of steel. Got plenty of processed fuel. I think we're getting about as prepared as we can be. The only real the only real reason I don't launch right now is it would feel like a little bit... Okay, why don't we have more of this? Secure canister. Because it outputs scrap. Oh, no. Um, I need a filter output, actually. Scrap. Where is scrap? How much do I have to type to find scrap? There we go. And there's no copper in here either. Alright, how much is this going to make? Like nine more canisters? Needs more copper. Hey, Dada Gnome. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's SEK2 going? Pretty well. We're just getting ready for our first uh, visit to Nalvis Orbit. But as it turns out, there's a few things to be done to prepare. Copper, steel, glass, plastic. Don't have those with me. And I think heat shielding? Heat shielding. Oh, sweet, indeed. Much better throughput when your ships don't have to pass by all the moons after entering the system. Oh, you probably move much further away than Nalvis went. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm going to do. Um, I think we're going to set up at Hagen. Radius is a little bit better, a little bit bigger, rather, than I had in mind, ideally, uh, for a base to move to later on, but it's pretty good still. Or maybe we'll even go to a different solar system if we get, like, a moon that's super close to the interstellar map that's smaller than this. I don't know. I like the idea of setting up at Hagen. Um, the planet's more than big enough that we can have as big of a base on it as we want. Um, but still relatively small, so that getting on and off of it isn't that big of a deal. Okay, how much life support do we have? Uh, Veldak, thank you very much. Check out Sci-Fi Thriller Duel from year 2022. Reviews say 57%. Based on description, I expected 70%. After watching it, I give it 85%. Uh, okay. So the movie is just called Duel? As in D-U-A-L? Might have to check that out. Thank you very much for the 100 bits. What are we missing? Plastic? I've got plastic here. Oh, we've got plastic and glass here. That's too good to pass up. Let's get the bots... To bring this up here. We got glass and plastic. Uh, we need copper plate, heat shield, steel. We've got that in the chest there. That's actually everything. I don't see how I can easily belt those other things over. We don't have extra request chests. So I'll just grab myself some heat shield. Is 
Setting up past asteroid belts means you'd have much bigger solar farms. You can beam power eventually, though. Uh, and what was getting low here? Steel plate? Oh wow, steel plate is backed up. That's beautiful. Okay. That should be enough. What are we at? Half a stack of life support. That might be enough. Uh, what are... Oh yeah, we've already got the math here. Uh, 38 minutes 20, but what if... I didn't have a battery, instead I had a life support. 1 hour 16, that's not that great yet. I could get, a, get away with one less jetpack. It's, there's one built into the thruster suit. I guess maybe less Roboport. Fine. So now we've got... Does this have to refresh? Yeah, three hours... Three and a half hours or so. I'm pretty sure it stops counting down life support time whenever you're in a capsule or a vehicle or something. Um, but if I were to just stand around for half a stream... That would be enough life support for that. Okay. Maybe we can just stop obsessing about filling this. Nope, definitely not. Just kidding. We're going to fill it to the brim with intermediate products that we can use to make whatever we're going to need up there. So we won't have to send more for a long time. I'm sure this is going to overflow at some point. Then again, we still used less than half of it, I think. Or a little bit more than half of it. We've also got enough liquid rocket fuel for almost another four launches. So that's nice. I should probably go and reinforce the walls while we're waiting for this last little bit. Let's get... where's the car? Way up there. There's a bunch of walls in there I'm gonna grab. We've got 15 gun turrets. I remember I... oh, this is so slow. No! No! That's a bit better. Can we make another jetpack? I need a little bit of steel, and that's it, actually. Give to me a bunch of walls, please. Actually, give me all the walls, and I'll reinforce everywhere. And let's get... oh, I've got one RoboPort here already. Fantastic. Where... where's my jetpack? There we go. Um, it's probably easier if I manually build the walls. Bots didn't even stop there. Let's repair these. Oh, they did actually. Not quite. south and west. Oh, I meant to pick up gun turrets on the way. There's our little spaghetti gun turret build.
Where are the walls? Back up for repairs. Let's put in a few more turrets. Should probably put them wherever I find guns that need repairs. I was going to say I don't remember now, but that's obviously one of those spots. Should be enough. The turrets. that was a damaged something, but it's actually just a rock. More turrets here. More turrets here. And so on. I should just copy-paste for that. And this part should probably have some more. Walls are a bit close to the turrets. Yeah, sometimes the spit damages them despite the walls. But now that they're double thick, that won't matter. Let's head down to this one. This is already double thick. No damage, except for here. Wait, what? Oh, that that one's different. Okay. Let's add a few more just to be safe. Not a whole lot of power here, but that's fine. I guess tech... Oh, did I run out of inserters? I did too. Alright, let's go get some more, perhaps? I think just repairing... No, no, I should definitely add more turrets wherever I see damage on those last couple of sections. Double thick, indeed. Ow. Rude me those and put them where they won't hurt me actually okay uh what was i looking for yellow inserters maybe i should take at least two stacks of all of these just to be sure even filter inserters Filter inserters can be emergency fast inserters. If it comes to that. I already uh, beefed this one up. 
So we could definitely beef it up some more. And we finally built these diagonal walls. These turrets do have kills, but they've never taken damage. The walls haven't taken damage either. That's so weird. Well, it's going to stay that way. Maybe not the walls. Okay. Let's get these walls out of my inventory. Let's get life support. Why have I used a life support canister? What? I, I guess it... I guess it was... Too much trouble to go to the bathroom. I don't know. Means you're in a great position pathing-wise? What? One is always spent to initialize the suit. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, I don't think I want these walls. That's actually a lot of inventory space still. And... I really want to get going, rather than trying to perfect what we're going to take with us, because we've put this off long enough. Oh, it's actually full. Fantastic. Alright, it's time. Nalvis Orbit, Capsule, Rocket Sections, Fuel, and Cargo. We don't have any other options in terms of destination. Oh, I know what I could take. This will only take a second, I think. Uh, cargo, landing pad. A thousand concrete, a thousand steel, and what? Some radars? Ten radars? I think I, I know just where to find radars. It's fine. Radars. Give me three. That's getting there. Fantastic. Now give me steel. A thousand steel, a thousand concrete. Um, steel is up here. And concrete. We're not going to need landfill. That's just enough. Nice. And I'll take some more concrete while we're at it. Green circuits? I don't think I sent any green circuits. Let's grab green circuits. Signal transmitter we can make. It's actually surprisingly easy. Yeah, we've already got all the intermediates. Uh, my stacks and stuff could be better, but whatever. Let's get going. Fantastic. Three, two, one, go. Lift off. And a shower of debris. Oh, where did the capsule go? What? Why did my capsule disappear? Is it because it didn't land on proper tiles? I think we can avoid... Yeah, bracket in space. Nice. Um, so already my inventory is crying because the bots are trying to return this stuff to me. Let's cancel the deconstruction and put a bunch of stuff in here for now.
It's in a random box? Oh, the uh, capsule? The last SE playthrough was done with player crafting disabled. Actually was surprised on how easy it was once you're forced to have your mall early on. Indeed. Alright, so what are we doing first? Well, obviously, we're working towards... I should have brought more of these. No! I, of course there was going to be something. 400 research to get started shouldn't be that bad. Uh, I lied. 400 research is going to make me cry. We can get Logi 3 now at least. Oh, that's 300? Damn. I don't think I was close to remembering to bring these up, though, because it never really crossed my mind. Panic minigame with the capsule thing? Alright. Um, can we at least... You know what? First thing I want to do here is... I didn't even know we had these. Uh, clean away all the debris because it's it's it just makes it more difficult to see and think clearly. Let's find out what we've what is okay okay. Let's find out what we've actually got here, and we'll organize it as well. Purple chest, very nice. What a mess. How's my inventory? Not that bad. The space capsule's in there as well. We got water ice. How much? 168k. That is actually... I, I gather this wasn't an accident. I'm guessing the water ice is part of what's deliberately generated because that is no small mercy. If only cleaning were this easy in real life. Water barrels can stay there for a minute. Oh, I didn't even know what I just removed a second ago. What is this? Item on ground scrap. Alright, let's put some chests down. You know what? Let's try and be organized already without chests. Green circuits, stone, iron, scrap. Uh, salt rocket fuel, iron plate, and iron gears, motors, that can stay there for now. We already have a bunch of space pipe and belt, that's nice. We have different colored belts. But don't stack together. But I won't complain about a decent amount of free deep space belt. We got a telescope. Wait, we do have a telescope, right? Yeah, it didn't like disappear because we haven't researched it or something. What's your favorite food? Uh, pizza? I wouldn't quite say it's a staple, but I make quite a bit of homemade pizza, actually. Wraps are my staple. Of course, there's a wide range of things you can do with those sorts of food. Pizza time, <laughs> indeed. Oh, we have a robot pod up here. I didn't even 
realize. Uh, Alright, belts and belts and belts and belts and belts and belts. Fantastic. Oh, we have a... Uh... Wait, what? Oh, I already picked these up. I see. Look at how much nicer and clean this is already. We also have a couple of free space assembly machines. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's that's what we sent up, Derp. I was gonna say, how did I not notice this before? Because it wasn't here, that's how. That's how that works. Homemade or delivery? Homemade. Quite easy to make pretty healthy pizza homemade. Alright, give me that. No, we're full again. I like what they've done with these different bits of platform to sort of show where a spaceship would go. I might have to try and steal that. By the way, speaking of food, have you seen treatstream.com? No, I haven't. Is this like live internet food porn? Alright, I think that's going to have to do it for today, though. Let's find someone to raid. Whoops. Save game. Who's playing preferably K2 and or SE? Homemade, oh my goodness, why do I post photos of cheap deliveries? You should post? I don't know. <laughs> Factorio... Eat, work, sleep, play Factorio, indeed. We got Mucky. Uh, high speed is streaming again. From my perspective, he's, uh, high, high speed streamed earlier today. Oh, that's the multiplayer. Anyone doing K2 and or SE? I try to give people what they're already watching, if I can. It looks like the answer is no. As far as I can tell. Alright. Let's give high speed a go today. And tomorrow, we'll continue or properly get started with the space stuff. Thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord and Blueprints if you're interested in that, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And till next time, stay safe. Take care, Veldak. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for awesome stream. Thanks for stopping by. Monty Ponty, Tail and Grandmaster. Take care. And, uh... Uh, Lolilo, thank you very much again for the subs. And everyone else as well. Very much appreciated, thank you. Take care, Nightfire. Our blue circuit processing. Because <laughs> I know Power Armor has been eating it up. Yeah, well, it's still it. Hey, so we're not going. I've got a raid. Thanks, T Hacks. Appreciate it. Super. <laughs>